Welcome, everyone. It is that time. It is the GG Super Millions. It's Tuesday. Big prize pool, biggest names in the game. Of course, the bright lights, and of course, a very special guest, which is my man, John Party, who joins us today from Austin, Texas. He's a streamer. He's a gamer. He's done a lot of things. He's run a six-minute mile when it counted the most. And <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. Party, how's it going over there? Good, Jeff. How are you, buddy? Very well, very well. We are, we are going to be Seeing some high stakes poker today. Again, this is the weekly Super Millions, and I don't know how familiar you are with it, but it is a Sunday tournament, $10,000 buy-in, and they play for a lot of money on Tuesday, the final table, and a guest every week. You are that special guest this week. Uh, John, before we get into action, can you tell everyone where they can follow you and how active you are on Twitch, streaming, and, and all that good stuff? Yeah, we are uh, currently in Austin, Texas, moving back to Canada at the uh, start of next month, so we're going to be back in the uh, Twitch street. So uh, you can find me there at uh, johnparty.tv. J-O-N-P-A-R-D-Y, not the country singer, which mistaken for too many times. Um, and also on YouTube, uh, John Party Vlogs. Uh, John underscore Party on Instagram and Twitter. And outside of that, just bumming around. See me at your local casino, maybe. <laughs> I, I love it, man. Well, listen, I know you uh, you know you know how to play the game, and we're going to get right into action. We're going to take a look at this final table, which is our feature and only table day. So if we can kick it down to the cards, let's see who we got at this Super Millions final table. I know there's some big, big, bad names at this table, and I know we have a five-time winner of this actual tournament there as well, Arthur. What? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to get to see him, see how he maneuvers, <laughs> and and hopefully they'll, uh, they'll kick us over to that final table right now. So let's go take a look at the action and we i'm not even playing get... jeff and i'm nervous yeah it's it is exciting <laughs> i mean i know you know this man beruzi who is actually going to be guest today he is a canadian streamer new member of the gg team the family here and he has got a 2.5 million stack looks like in third place sort of tied for second actually right in uh tied for third sort of jumbled up but at the top of the counts how familiar you familiar are you with beruzi Big Beruzzi fan. Um, obviously, he's been awesome on the Twitch streets, playing the highest stakes possible. Um, great guy in the vlog world as well, I see recently, pumping out some great content. So uh, that's an awesome pickup by GG for sure. And definitely a little bit, maybe a little bit biased today. Like maybe like I might be on the Beruzzi train. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, I've I've heard great things as well. I have seen some of his content. I know he knows exactly what he's doing. And he is doing that today, going for 339000 If you take a look at those prizes in the lower right, that is a, a nice Tuesday afternoon sweat. Of course, <laughs> we, we see Mark Radoja, a guy who we like to reference is also a, a big crush. You can see those results on Gigi alone. And actually, you know, John, he did beat me heads up for a World Series bracelet. Um, where we, so we're we wearing this the anti-sweat here. Is this the end of it? Yeah, I, I've, <laughs> over the years, I've, I've kind of gone on his team you know i just uh, root for the guy i i, I like him but uh also can't Andres, beat him join him right <laughs> yes 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 andres nemeth as well has got one of the more impressive resumes in poker and no stranger to the final tables and i think if you got the notes you saw he also is uh he's had three wins in season two alone that is uh quite an impressive resume for andres nemeth there and, and ramiro patron also has several final tables i think he also has one, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that he has, yeah, he has one in season two as well. You can see five million. So, I mean, it's crazy, right? We're talking about one site. We're not talking about live results. We're not talking about all the other sites. These are on GG alone. You can see the results of these these different players. It's pretty, pretty impressive. And, of course, I got to go to Arthur Martorzian, who is a hard name to pronounce, but not a hard name to respect. This man has one of the more impressive resumes on all of GG. He finds himself near the top of the counts here. And he has actually won four times in season two alone, one in season one. So he would be going for the first six time winner. If we can get the archers stack up on the screen here, his, his resume, I mean, it's crazy. I think he has like over 20 million in earnings on GG. Wow. Party. So yeah, there's uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, it's like some already. unfathomable stuff. Like that's insane. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It is impressive and it's big. And Chris Rudolph as well also is a very tough opponent. He has won the super millions once. And he is also, uh, I believe, I'm trying to see some, I think one time he's won and there's a few guys that have won multiple times. And Rodrigo also the, the tough Brazilian has won this once as well, but we are going to be taking questions as if you have any, any ideas on, Future stuff you want to see on the show, let us know as well as well as future guests. You can drop it in there. Mr. Party made himself available today. We really appreciate that. And there is uh, 
There is some guys in for multiple bullets. That is a 10K rebuy. So you can see in the lobby on GGA that it can get expensive. I, I see someone saying <laughs> that seven, seven bullets has been exercised for um, for Archer maybe. But, you know, look, if you've won six times, you can afford a few bullets and to, to play a little more aggressively. So we'll take a look here. And, and there's your man. He's got his uh, Beiruzi coming in for a rebet with the ace jack off. And this is going to put Rodrigo in a tough spot. This, what do you think happens suspense. here? What do you what do you like here? I mean, it's a, it's kind of one of those hands, ace queen, where it's like a good hand, but it's a lot of ICM or nine handed, and it's sort of like you're either really going to be dominated or dominated, and out of position, it's tough to play. So, very curious how Rodrigo's going to come with this particular spot. What do you think, John? What would you do here? I I, I, I don't I don't mind I don't mind the fold. I don't think a call uh, is going to serve much unless you're just going to hit maybe hitting a queen. I don't even mind a little maybe a four bet four bet fold maybe, but the stacks are a little bit shallow for that. But can make yeah. it a little sexy. Yeah, I I like that. That is that does seem like a very difficult hand to play and a nice execution from Beiruzi. And can't blame Rodrigo with that stack. Right, he's pretty healthy, but he's sort of in the middle middle ish. You know, there's a there's a short stack there. Chris Rudolph has five hundred fifty thousand, and just kind of realizing that it's going to be hard to win a big pot there, and especially like you said, to call play out of position. I don't mind playing. Let's do red or black first of all. We got to do. We're going to play for a dinner, John. We got to have a nice dinner. We go live. Let's see who's going to pay. Are you up for a dinner bet? Always up for a dinner bet. Let's let's do it. Red or black? You choose. We'll start. We'll go one two 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 one snake draft style. We're of course going to get the audience involved. Appreciate everyone watching today hanging with us let us know where you're watching from and go ahead choose red or black john get off black. Right, pick it off up. you're going black so this will be who has the first pick on the next flop and if you guys are at home watching and you want to be involved hit that thumbs up button and we will have a keyword today it'll either be a 50 or a 100 dollars gg ticket we're gonna throw you guys a couple of the players to, to root for to see if you can double up on that and a my man jason parker appreciate you appreciate the kind words what's up joseph good to see you guys someone asked in the chat did you get married recently john could you maybe touch on that I did not get married recently, uh, but I have been here in Texas with my girlfriend. Um, she is a cash player from California. So we decided to come out here and test out the uh, Texas streets, which uh, seem well, definitely they're wild. Texas is a wild place to play some poker. Yeah. How, how is uh, what's in Austin? What's the connection there? And we do have uh, a red flat, a red flop, I believe. Right. So that's going to be, oh. yeah, I'm going to get the, the first pick but that's all right you get to it goes one and two so okay. you know it's not okay. it's so not we're still bad. alive you're saying yeah i'm saying you're gonna have some good picks no matter what uh, i got a feeling <laughs> i know i know who you're gonna who you're gonna go with i have hey, a listen, feeling well, i gotta keep my 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 countrymen i i, I listen i'm gonna I'm, gonna I'm just gonna let's get that let's do the draft quickly and then we'll dive back into austin so i'm gonna go ahead and select select archer it's hard to go against him when he's got basically the chip lead in that resume so i get archer and you go ahead and get two picks I'm going. I'm going both. Both my Canadian boys. I'm going Coleman and Baruzzi. Wow! Look at this, man. You just the neglected chips, and you're going straight Canada, straight respect. Snap I love call. that. Yeah, hey, you know that. how. Listen, we're Canadian. I, listen, repping. I always got to rep the country, man. I I love it. I love it. Well, listen, I will. I I, I respect chip stacks. Sergey uh, has got three million. I am going to take Sergey, and man, I guess I'll go with. Uh, I, I mean, it's tough. I guess this hurts. I, I'll go with Ramiro too. He's he's been in good form. I you know, I know these guys, John. I'm in here. I see these guys. He's, he's <laughs> you've been, playing. You've I'm been the metal week. I'm watching. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Ramiro. I feel like he's in good form. I'll take those two, and then you got two. Who you got? I'm going to take uh, Marky Boy down here. Okay, another Canadian, even though he's got the Mexico flag. Okay. Right. Listen, I'm telling you this, and I didn't even know that. That's just a connection. That's just a wow. feel. I said, uh, "Wow, that's uh, that's 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 okay. Good pick. <laughs> I gotta say, good pick." And you get one more. Let's go, Andreas. Did you pick him yet? I did not, but that is a phenomenal pick. I, I really like your team. I do like that. I get Rodrigo Celacuan, who is a Brazilian. You know, I got love for Brazil, so I get. Hold Rigo, and I believe that would only leave Chris Rudolph, but we each have four guys, so we'll leave it at that. We're going to give the audience him for the bonus oh, spin. He, he's so for he, sure shipping. For sure shipping now. Yeah, he could ship. We're going to give that one to the audience for if he were to win, it would be a double on the ticket giveaway instead of 50, it'd be 100. And then I'm also going to throw the Arthur. We'll go for him. We'll go for history, see if he can make it six 
uh six titles which would be insane and then i'm also getting bay ruzi right you got to give him he's local he's new to gg you you're, we're rooting for him he's a fan favorite so whoo, excuse me excuse me bless you get, my I friend i get excited when i sneeze bless I you. I'm, <laughs> so excited. Happens, I'm, Jeff gets excited. I'm excited i i am very excited we're gonna give you guys those three and i'll let you choose one as well give me a fourth that the audience can sweat for a bonus we gotta go mark mark redoja all right so you guys got four guys mark redoja you got Beiruzi, Arter, and who is the fourth? Fourth, Andre? Did we say Andres Nemeth? Is that right? Mark, Beiruzi, Arter, and was that what we Chris. said? Chris. Uh, where's Chris? Which one's Chris? Rudolph. Rudolph. Four. You're right. Those are your four. So if you're at home, you hit that thumbs oh, up. Oh, we're going to see it. We're going to see a pot here, Jeff. Is this going to be? We Wow. Look at the flat. Ace King this, this has been flat. There, because wow. he flatted, um, is it is it art? Is it art? Can I say art? Is that what people know what Archer. I'm talking about? We'll call him Ar Archer. Archer. Yeah. Archer. Um, he flatted Jax earlier as well. Uh, to Beruzzi's open. Wow. Wow. So this not, is, I don't uh, have the I don't have these things in my repertoire, Jeff. <laughs> man, this is uh, this is definitely this is definitely playing again. There's sort of two of the bigger stacks. So one of the one of the situations where if you were to you know, get yourself in a big pot, it would be kind of uh, not ideal if you're flipping somehow. And I guess you also want to have some balance, right? With the, you want to have ace-king suited, you want to have ace-ten ace suited, you want to have some some pairs. So, you know, there's a bit of a bit of benefit to just just calling as well in terms of pot control. And look at this, you're against tens and you're on the turn and you're behind. Does pick up the heart draw and wow. <laughs> Spikes it. Wow, this is going to be a, spicy. That is a absolute spice of a card as juggle man likes to say a guest on the show he loves saying the word spice and this is this could be like a huge over bet this is a very clean board as played no bet on the continuation bet so like suited hands it might take about so i think archer's gonna go like 600 here God, and the and, back door hearts like it's that's so sneaky yeah, yeah he does go like close wow. to pot and it's gonna be interesting on the sizing ramiro goes with here because he his story is definitely going to catch off guard archer it's, it's honestly one of the sickest run outs like this 10 of hearts check check flop bet call turn and now what does he go with how big can ramiro go he's blocking you know like the the king queen of hearts king jack of hearts he has the ace king suited so like it's kind of like he tells a story they're bluffing or not hopes he coolers his opponent maybe with jack queen of hearts although um you know Ooh. let's see here and look at oh wow. snap fold wow wow i mean that's just like talk about These knowing where you're at sick. yeah <laughs> Didn't even think about it. And again, there could be some tendencies. The players know each other. They play this tournament a lot. And you know, it's not, they're not huge fields. So again, very uh, interesting and very sick that Arthur gets away so cheap with such a strong hand that he rivers there. But as I it plays. We're, are we going to see Chris in here? I don't think does Chris get away from these sevens ever. Uh, I think this will likely go three bet and call off uh for the jam. And now Mark with a you know a nice hand, but again, there's not closing the action. Pay it, players behind just gets out of the way and Chris was seventh and look at this look at this John I mean we are I'm telling you, are you I can't I'm, I'm done I'm done making predictions what is this hand for I've been wrong every single time <laughs> I look I that there's been some snug snug starting play we've seen a lot of different final tables a lot of different different uh results of of style of play today I'd say definitely so far I've been cautious close to this of course Chris is significantly shorter than the other players so i'm going to be aware of that you know again these guys aren't really like a lot of these guys i would say are not just trying to ladder a spot or two a lot of big names here a lot of experience a lot of a lot of lifetime earnings but of course you do respect icm and people want to not make silly mistakes so um you know interesting so far start to the table i would say a few surprising spots for myself as well um but yeah we are we are off and running and we are seeing another flop here ace eight suited versus king 10 off and here we see a little bit bigger sizing on the Jack three, nine and David Coleman has a bit of a tough decision. He's got the over the gut shot and he faces. I think we see pretty... one. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's, it seems hard to go away. Could uh, maybe with the sizing doesn't allow so much for a check raise, but just a call. And now the board pairs on the turn, David's going to have more nines than Ramiro could see a lead sometimes, but of course, the situation is dicey with his stack, stack to pot ratio, SPR, just a little over, you know, less than two. And it goes check, check. So on the river now, King 10 does not have the best hand, has a shot to take a stab. Ramiro checked back to ace eight suited. 
on the turn and let's see if david can i'd like a stab better. here yeah it's uh it's tricky though your opponent definitely could have some you know over pairs that just feel a little scared about the nine and he does check it goes check check and ramiro gonna be really happy to win that pot and take himself to 3.3 .3 million which is good enough for the current chip lead uh ramiro patron actually came up natural barbero was just talking about him recently on my podcast about how, how good a tough player he is and how he has been working hard and and really his results have been showing what is uh what have you been up to in terms of streaming and, and playing wise lately what stakes are you are you hitting john uh, i have been down here in the texas streets um and obviously here in texas the games play a little bit bigger than really anywhere else so you know the one threes are playing like two five two fives playing like five ten twenty five so it's uh it, it's pretty wild down here i've been, been mixing it up using the one two one three streets um so i haven't played much cash really i've only started studying it in the past few months but i've been enjoying the um the cash grind um so it's been all right it's been studying with ape styles um over at bbz um for the last little while as well so i'm really enjoying that uh but like moving back to canada i'm gonna get back into the online street so I'm gonna transition back into the tournament study and try to get the twitch going again you still and on what, twitch you, you on twitch much when was your last twitch poker stream um it's been a long time probably like seven months or so so no yeah, way yeah it's uh it's basically i came over signed with gg and i do the weekly show i have my podcast and you know i got that three and a half year old as well and of course being in usa it's not Dead easy life to, yeah to travel around and throw up the, the the setup stream and go all over the places sort of uh different time but i same thing man you know during wsop or during certain series yeah I, I i it's nice to have that opportunity if you want to kick on throw up a stream or you know, get for it going. sure but it's a grind man you know how it is you want to be in in c you want to be you i go so it. back and forth because it's like you i'm like yeah. i get out of streaming for like six months and i'm like i'm gonna i'm back in i'm going hard after three months i'm like ah. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> it, it can get it can get it can get pretty pretty draining and this is this is uh speaking of draining that is the chip's gonna get moved on over to andres and a little bit light open i guess being a function of the chip leader decides to open i think deuces nine-handed definitely could argue just folding you're gonna run into hands and you know there's a lot of uh i don't know i'm, I, I'm surprised because ramiro seems to be playing a very solid snug game and i think that he's welcome to open light but i just think deuces are a bit Bit, I would think uh, if you're going to open the deuces too, you want to see, I guess your intention would be to set mine. So I guess you, you, I would assume you would want to see a flop as well. If you are going to open them. Yeah. You get open in three bet. I mean, you could peel, but then, you know, you're out of position. You're yeah. you, it's a, it's a tricky spot, but you know, as played nicely done from Andres, he does recognize against the chip leader and he takes a, uh, you know, he, he makes a play takes it down and here we go with two modest hands ace 10 and ace jack off four six nine two spades neither player loving the flop although rodrigo does have the best position best hand and he has that best card in the deck the ace of spades on this particular flop this is a key card so be curious what he comes with here after getting check two he decides to check back and again neither player yeah like we say mr party it's hard to make a pair and no limit hold them no player has that and let's see if david can start exploring on a stab although he does not and rodrigo here on the turn also i think stabs could stab doesn't you know gets checked to the thing is is it, is it a two street hand is he gonna like try to bluff twice gets called i think there are some queens that check also a pair of like you know target eight sevens hands like that but it goes check check and look at this no one has a pair and we are on the river and the run out in particular from david's perspective you know he maybe has some more ace kings that I think Rodrigo, we would have heard from Ace King. So does he go for a bet here uh, and, and try to represent maybe an Ace King that that check flop, check turn, and now would bet River? I think that's do a, it, that's Coleman. A, the positive storyline that would work out. Although his stack is not so easy to just start firing bluffs, right? You got to especially do it with oh, nice, nice bet, very nice bet. Canada and, uh, baby. Rodrigo's got a key blocker could could you know he knows that David doesn't have a jack 10 probably off his stack size not many maybe jack 10 suited but he does decide to relinquish doesn't want to 
calling that reasonable, right? Could maybe raise, but as played, well done. And David going to get himself to a million chips clean. And we are still nine handed here underway, 20 minutes into the show. Hope you guys are having a great day. We are seeing where, let us know where you're watching from again. John Party joins us today and we are calling the action. What's your, have you met Beiruzzi or you just know him from being- I, I have not, country? just know him through the Twitch streets and through through Twitter and that kind of, that kind of stuff. Um, but I am planning on having a little road trip from East Coast Canada to West Coast Canada where I'm going to relocate to Calgary. Um, so hopefully I'll catch Beiruzzi coming through Montreal on those travels. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a, it's it's cool to see guys like the you know the grind. You obviously did thirst lounge and you know had been through the start of it journeys, all. Started, yeah, had had yourself a lot of experience within poker, but it, it's cool to see people grind and, and know that there are a lot of opportunities still out there for for streaming for for um you know being being pros at different sites and and the content game has really really accelerated. I would say in the last few years for poker, there's a lot of people doing some really cool stuff on different. I think it's great. Player. There's so many, there's so many brilliant people in, in, in the poker world who are putting out some brilliant content um, right now. So, and, and, and you know what, even the amount of content that's coming out, that's amazing. There's still so much room for new people to come into the space and excel um, with the right mindset and a little bit of hard work. So it's exciting. I think it's exciting times. Yeah, I would, I would certainly agree with that. And, we are, we are definitely, there's a lot of new technology, a lot of new, you know, it's just kind of funny to look back like even five, seven years ago with streaming and, and Wi-Fi and fiber optic and different ways <laughs> that things are moving together. I know it's stream, you know, playing uh, Thirst Lounge and being down that. You know, well, I was just thinking, worse. I was like, I wonder how the Wi-Fi is down on the islands. <laughs> yeah, could be, could be a little bit, a little bit better now, hopefully, but we are, we are so far nine handed still and nothing really too exciting in terms of action has happened we've seen a couple light three bets we've seen a couple best hands fold and really no one so far has put it all in and uh as you see nine handed the jumps are thirteen thousand from 48 to 61 all the way up to 339 uh that's what i was saying i mean imagine like five ten years ago playing for for 340k oh. on a tuesday man this is a tuesday this isn't a special <laughs> edition this is the the, the Super Millions Weekly Show, and we got some big prizes. I wasn't um, even playing five years. Yeah. I wasn't even playing five years ago. I was, <laughs> yeah, it's it's it's. Uh, what's the biggest buy you played online? Uh, I played. Now I played the Venom, uh, the ACR Venom, the twenty six fifth. That's coming up as well, which I'm I was excited for. Um, I think I actually may have one time Bill potentially put me in a 10K on on GG back a little after the Thirst Lounge days. And I think that was, but that was definitely a uh, a one-off. We, uh, <laughs> we we haven't played any more 10Ks online. <laughs> well, I'll say this, the, the 10Ks online are definitely, it is, there's some amazing players. Also a lot of options for satelliting in, which are, which are cool. But yeah, putting up a 10K buy-in online is... You know, it's always Oof. it's always tricky. It's always um, it's good to see these some, running. Some it's players. good to see them running all the time, though. Like it's so it's so nice to have these high stakes games running online and have them shown on a platform like this where you can tune in, see cards cards up, some yep. next level stuff. Some guys, you know, you wouldn't be able to see without uh, broadcasts like this bringing it to you. Yeah, no, it's um, it's definitely a treat. Definitely a treat to see the guys battling here again some of the biggest names in poker hope you guys are enjoying and we got a river bet with some consideration now on the king eight five king four now this is a little curious doesn't have a diamond in his hand there's no action along the way let's just see see what Rodrigo comes up with here i just not really sure it's a bit it was a multi-way pot he has ace queen high and he is considering here for sure Maybe thinking that on the paired turn check around that a flush would probe at it. Maybe that's sort of what his thoughts are. And he's he's just kind of not really understanding what this player is representing. Uh, I, I just, I'm a little surprised with this long of a tank, however. Yeah, he's, he's a long tank. Wow, oh, finds calls. a call. Interesting. Very interesting, very interesting spot. So does not ultimately think the story checks out as the blinds go up to 25K, 50K. We see a pot go to 
uh, Andres, his way, he's got 1.6 million. And Rodrigo, the Brazilian, is down to 1.3. So, man. And I will say Victor Milanowski, limitless. We've seen almost every week at the final table. He is not here. Arthur also, obviously, his record with five titles, a frequent, frequent uh visitor to these final tables if you have five titles that that would be the case think about all the times he hasn't won and made the final table and um also i'm asked if i don't play poker anymore so yeah i do not stream much anymore i do still play some i do live commentary for triton i do the weekly show here and then i play i actually you know i got into party i like four and five card i like the five card plo the big oh no you're of, in the yeah, yeah, the great yeah, game you're over to the is, plo streets eh? i do i do play some cash games some some pretty good games and i like i like that game the most i just think it's like i think it's a lot of fun as long as you have a good action game it's it's a special special game to play and um, throughout your career yeah. you you haven't played much i mean just I got into PLO, uh maybe like no i got it maybe like three or four years ago PLO, okay four or five years ago but um yeah the cash game more so plo now but i, I do yeah, enjoy it, it seems have you played in the uh, plo cash down here some double boards some <laughs> no i i haven't played in austin i was just there for acl but didn't get to play any any poker i know um yeah it's uh it, it's you know i know we could have set a big one up we could we could have got a good lineup going i'm where i'm with uh i've been doing a bunch of streams with the uh, texas card house here in austin yeah like you use some two five just some five ten on thursdays we could have got you got you and perky in there had a big lara would have set for sure i i would i would enjoy it i would when we come back we'll do it we'll definitely do it i, I sure. know austin's an amazing city and there's a lot of good poker over there is uh is this let's see this turn that gets called and andres now still has the best hand he does get a street here and likely just gonna check back right he has showdown he beats a lot of hands beats ace highs beat heart draws and gets a ace gets highs a but then ace high heart draws he's got it yeah and that is a that's a nice pot he's up over nice little spin up here my i'm telling you talented player and he has got some he's got some chips now he's got two he's got 40 blinds 41 blinds sitting on two million fifty six thousand blinds or 2550 and, and chris like rudolph all in effective pretty much here from chris yeah radoja has a vulnerable stack he also he has ace nine suited we're talking about what eight blinds it's very close but he is going to be he is going to be behind sometimes and it's a lot of his stack Excellent. Mark finds a fold here. He's, he's tanking and he does make the right decision. Nicely done by Mark. Doesn't call it off. And uh, this has been this has been quite an interesting start to the final table. We see a few players chip up, but no one really running away. They're pretty condensed on the stacks with the chip leaders having roughly three million and then a few guys healthily with two. No one's super super short right now we got a question about which guest that you found to me the most impressive i mean that's an interesting question i uh, luckily get to deal with some of the best players in the world and and john you know, i think is a, a extremely talented player i mean you really did work a lot player jeff don't no, you a lot of people out there no, jeff <laughs> no but, I'm saying, but you, you've worked a lot from the thirst lounge and you did some studying and i mean you have put some serious time into your game we, we've definitely we have we have a lot a lot of work to do i still definitely consider myself more of a, a poker personality or ambassador more than a than, than a than a pro we're definitely putting time into our game we're and hopefully someday <laughs> Well, I'm trying to throw your compliment. You got it. You got to let it stick. But I will say, in terms, <laughs> in terms of the most impressive, I mean, I, Ben CB has been on. Obviously, I'm biased with the Raise Your Edge in the program, doing work with them. But he's super impressive. He actually used a little booth magic, got second, I think, the following week after coming on in this tournament. And then also Jeremy Osmus, five-time bracelet winner, just took second in another one the other day. He's a he gangster. Was, was was on and very very impressive player I, I i always like watching jeremy play so yeah those those are a couple of guys i think that in terms of poker just just seem to really know what they're doing and have a great great execution on their plan and we are going to get to see now ramiro patron with the jack nine suited has a lead in the hand and rodrigo who is going to have a board here that maybe likes a little more it's still a tough tough ass to try to stick on or get aggressive on especially with of, these stack sizes yeah yeah this is um this is curious and he does call oh action card brings a flush draw jack nine suited ace nine picks up the gut shot so this is uh this would be interesting because ramiro definitely you could see telling the story here and continuing to bet so let's see if he's going to go ahead and bet and then put our friend rodrigo in a difficult spot this is 
This is one of those cards where you can definitely continuation bet. He doesn't. Ooh, he and he gets, spikes it. Wow. Gets the check. By the double back. pair, it is a little bit sus. A little bit suspect. And Rodrigo now at the ace nine high maybe thinks they're, they're chopping, does decide to check, and jack nine suited. Kind of interesting to value bet here or not. You don't get, you lose to a three or a four that called you on the flop. Because if um, you ever get repopped, it's so sick. <laughs> It is sick, but you also could go for a bit of spin value, maybe get called by ace high or a five six, right? That there's something like that, but it does decide it's a little too dicey. Checks back hot for Ramiro. Rodrigo, have a little time getting traction going here. We are uh, speaking of uh, raise your edge, that's what I've been using for the, the cash day. They have a pretty sweet cash course, uh, the mastering live cash over there. Yes, Peruzzi with the church, the ace king. Yeah, this is uh, this is a hand. We saw him go with the ace jack off. Go ahead and three bet and put a tough decision. Of course, ace king off suit is a strong hand and likely going to be exerting some force here. Maybe 300, 350 as we see no real big hands behind. So if it goes to a size wow, is down, size is super down. He is in position. He does cover and he is going to put Mark Wadoja in a bit of a tough spot here so ace 10 off though it's kind of like such a good price but really this hand doesn't perform well we almost yeah. like to see a four better fold and truthfully at his stack size he can't we got very throwing out the emojis and the gifts and all this stuff <laughs> he's today. just having so, fun out there he's just having he's a got, good time he's having fun 48 grand locked up playing for 340 quite a quite a spot to be in he was going to be the guest today we had that scheduled a while ago and then when he knew he made the final table he let me know so appreciate you coming on short notice and and uh and, and we'll see if he can get it done but he is so far oh look at this can you find a fold here like the price is just it's 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 yeah it sucks if somebody is king queen suited sucks. nines i think <laughs> ace 10 is probably like the stone cut off the call here we're talking about 468 it's less than 10 blinds and you put out two i think that you know there's a chance you could make an exploitative fold but it's pretty dicey and if he does call it's not gonna like a nice fold Oh, oh, very nice. So good. Wow. I mean, so you got to be right. You got to be right there when you when you fold that. You just got to know that yeah. that's that's the right move. And he was exactly right. He would have been dominated. You know, if he has nines there, it's a pretty big mistake, right? Like to put that money out and fold the extra money, the blinds, annies, and everything. But he just had it spot on. He was he was dominated. And These guys are dialed in right now. Some good, some great play going on. I got to say, there's a reason we're nine handed almost a little over half hour in on the show. And we are seeing some of the best in the world maneuver. And here we got Ramiro with the ace king and the small blind. And guys go for a big raise. Yeah, Nemeth respects that. Does respect it. We are going to go off to the next hand. Arthur with the king queen off, two million stack. He's got forty one blinds. He is going to kick it on up, and <laughs> nobody else picked up it. <laughs> no, one has, no one has anything. Absolutely, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just, just we saw a king away. high, a jack high. <laughs> yeah, this is. Um, yeah, it is. It is. It is a interesting start here in the. The rich have gotten a bit richer. We do see Ramiro with 3.5 million. The chip we met. Chris Rudolph got to get it through with sevens. Didn't go in a spot where he could easily be flipping. Been a couple conservative folds. And look at Ramiro. He's got 3.5 million. Decides he's going to start to exercise his stack. And ace three suited on the button from a very competent opponent. Let's see if he's going to flat three bet. Or what it is the chip leader? It is the late position open. When you start it and you do have a suited wheel, one of the better candidates for bluffing. I think you start it in a vacuum you could really start thinking this would be a good hand to three bet but let's see what he comes up with Ooh. he does does just that yeah i think better than flatting right you flat I like it you flat you let in the big blind for g you know it's it's uh, not an amazing hand. i i like i like Take it i like re-raising that very nice very nicely done who is uh who who when did you first hear of bayruzzi did you did you hear about his stream? Recently? It was he did he did a stream with Ape Styles actually. Uh, him and Ape Styles did like a little dual stream on Ape's channel, and just okay. thought the boys had a lot of fun, some good chemistry. 
um, and followed his channel and have been have been have been a, a rooster fan, a rooster fan ever since. Very nice. Well, I love I, I love the personalities. You know what I mean? I, I love people who can entertain and still compete at the highest levels. Right. You see, you see a lot of the robotic stuff going on uh, at the highest stakes, and to have someone in there who, like you said, is throwing out some funny gifts and that kind of stuff, um, it's refreshing. Yeah, absolutely right. I think that we are at a time in poker where we need to get back to that, where there's talking at the table, people are having fun. I know there's different rules in different places, but I think the rules actually misunderstood a bit at the World Series, where people think you can't talk at all, but you you know you can. You just have to. You can't really. You can't say something about your own hand. Uh, and and I, across the pond, it's a much different environment where people are very interesting. Trendy. Yeah, people are talking. Like I know you got Ace King. I, I'm gonna make you fold. I got the Ace of Hearts. Like <laughs> oh, that's that. it. That's yeah, a different but, element. Yeah, like the Jamie Gold sort of back in the day where it was like it got kind of over the top, and then they sort of by default, I feel like the dealers kind of deter people from talking at all. They're like, you know, you can't talk when really that's not true. You know, you, you just can't talk about your specific hand. You can't say I have. So, yeah, I think there's some confusion on that. But as we as it stands, Ramiro, who has Ooh. been snug in sub pots, they say open light, three bet tighter, open tight, three bet light. And he has been flatting some huge hands. Ace King suited Jackson. He's going for it with some sort of modest hands. So interesting balance game plan from playing a lot Ramiro. of cash like that. Eight, seven suit is real pretty. Right. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's a different game. Ca cash game in tournaments and way different yeah <laughs> yes that that is it that is for sure a nice cash it was game. It, it was crazy looking at looking at the differences between like tournament study and then just like 200 big blind deep cash study <laughs> yes yeah. yeah completely made completely me feel even different. dumber about the game jeff <laughs> it's an intense it's an intense game i'll tell you what it is an absolutely intense game there's so many game trees so much so much knowledge so many people are constantly working and improving and getting better and uh, it's like credit to these guys battling with some of the best out there on a consistent basis because I see these guys often in these these tournaments and they know each other and they really are you know they're they're, uh, they're toying with the best right they're balanced the mental fortitude right? needed to battle at these stakes every single day. <laughs> yes, it takes a lot and you know, it is uh, not for the faint of heart. And here we see Queen Ten suited versus Jack Ten off. He was he's kind of thinking maybe what he was going to do was he going to. Was he gonna? Was he gonna make a move? Was he just gonna flat? You could argue the fold, but Queen Ten suited so pretty, close in action. He is one of the shorter stacks. Risk premium, John. I know you know what that means with the Razor Edge course. His 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 ability, if he were to go out now, not a big deal as he is the shortest stack. So a little more inclined to play pots. And look at this lead on the Ace Three Three Seven Diamonds. Yeah. Ramiro's Ramiro's check back was super quick on the flop. I don't know if he picked up a little bit of a timing tell there, Rodrigo yeah i'm a little surprised i think that's just also recognizing that he has oh we're gonna see look at oh, this wow huge moment based on how ramiro plays he may just flat when he gets re-raised here but this is actually whoa and there's jacks i mean jacks too this is gonna be nutty wow buckle in uh, chat wow buckle in is right this is this is gonna Baruzzi be with the flat with queens wow Yo, so I'm realizing I am overplaying every holding I've ever had. <laughs> wow. Wow. Jax just calls. Queens. This is nuts. Wow. And Jax does have a club. Queens does have a club. Ace King does not have a club, but it's going to be interesting on the Queen 9 6 multi way. How does Baruzzi up. play this? Side scene is so interesting, right? It's like you're. It's, I think you want to go small. I mean, you have the queen of clubs. I think you go like 140 or something. I mean, I guess I like the small. See what he comes with. Can't really check. There's you let him draw seven, eight jack, ten of clubs. There's a lot going on there. So he does that. Way, listen, Jeff, you couldn't, you couldn't have called for better sizing, buddy. That's pretty, we're, that's pretty bang on by you there. We're, we're, we're in the matrix right now. And this, this is Sergey. <laughs> Sergey going to see one at least. If you're a mural, I think you can just get out of the way. Right? What, are you, what, are you, what are you really looking for? It's pretty specific. So he does fold. And now we see a heads up battle. Uh, this is, this is, this is a, this is a spot where Sergey could definitely stick on for a little bit. Also has some bluff candidate hands, right? If he does. There's some cards that could come where he could decide to turn his hand to a bluff. So Beiruzio top set the Stone Cold Nuts on the turn. 
what sizing can he go? He doesn't necessarily want to lose the opponent, but it also there's a lot of rivers where you're not going to be able to value bet necessarily. So I think it goes a little larger, like 400, 450. I was thinking a little size up here as well. Okay, so he's okay. smaller, but he does have the nuts in a vacuum. You know, he's he's just he's looking for action. And then on the river, he's likely going to get checked to, and he might not be able to bet some rivers. So interesting sizing. Two jacks also very curious on what he's doing and a tricky, tricky spot here for the jacks. Wow. wow. Uh, so, so Jack 10 comes home, clubs miss. Uh, Sergey does have Jack. So he could rep Jack 10, maybe, but now nah, he's, he's got showdown value and he is checking. And now um, Beiruzzi actually has an interesting 1.1 in the middle. He will be securing himself a big pot unless somehow he were to bet get check raised. And I've got to believe you still go for value, although, you know, yeah, what one size are you going here? One of the immediate draws does come home. Yeah, I would, I would probably go like. See, I'm greedy. <laughs> you, go, you go big here. Yeah. I mean, you also, if you were to get raised, um, I guess you kind of make up your mind like, what you. Or you could do. go really small as well, maybe, and try to induce a little. Yeah, Send I don't know. From Sergey. I don't know if you want to. If you want to induce those six, six, a eight, half, so uh, decent, decent size goes a little, a little bigger, even than half pot, but maybe like 55%. And Sergey, yeah, interesting. He blocks, blocks, uh, he's, Jack 10 gets home. I mean, he has Jack's in his hand. Be very curious here what he does. He also has a club in his hand. Clubs miss. I don't love calling here. And as we good see ball. the cards, good, good, good. Well done. I mean, it could have been interesting versus Ramiro. If Beruzzi had three bet, what would have happened? We we won't know. We just and with that, Beruzzi right. hops into second place here, just behind Ramiro. Yes, second place looking good right now. Coleman, Canada coming in here. Canada's got nice. a nice showing today. I'll tell you that. They got, like I said, Mark Radoja, part of Team Canada as well, although he's not rocking the flag, maybe living in Mexico at the moment. And, um, yes, we are we are literally, literally uh, nine-handed still, and we are coming in on 45 minutes into the show. Chris Rudolph is our short stack. Mark Radoja gets a couple of tens under the gun. Going to go ahead and kick it up. Doesn't look like much, much action here as well. So, I mean, John, we're off. We've seen some hands. We've seen some decent – situations we've seen, we've seen some hands yeah. we've seen hands that could have been explosions like could have been very big hands very big pots yeah like we saw we saw um art art Ar the Ar name guy Arthur we saw him lay down quickly that set of tens um on the river to the nut flush of Ramiro earlier that could have got a little spicy so there's some, some potential and Beruzzi here with the three bet under the gun one. Yeah. King high flop. Not great for tens, especially with a three bet by Baruzzi. Yeah, this is uh this is gonna be a difficult situation for Radoja as well. He does have the ten of spades, five five king. Let's see what happens here. This is gonna be a Likely follow up here because he can know Mark does not have ace king almost ever. He blocks aces there with flat as a trap and he has ace king, so he does oh, that such a small little let's that I guess stack size that's good sizing. Yeah, Radoja maybe sees the saw that ace jack earlier, three bet ace jack off, does peel one, and now we're gonna be playing. Some serious poker on the turn. Let's see if Beiruzzi is going to follow through, tell the story, or if he's going to just sort of slow down. He does have three outs, doesn't know what his opponent has, but he does have 6.8% equity if he were to check. Although 826 in the middle, I expect him to, to tell a story again and bet something. Now, if his opponent has a king, can't really fold. If his opponent has a hand like tens, jacks, nines, you know, ace, queen, ace, jack suited that he's beating, they, they would raise and call here. You do generate some folds on those hands, so I think it's got to go for it, right? Ace 10 off can't expect to show down, and uh, he does. But go. he does go, and he gets us that fold, gangster. Very nice hand, very nice hand. Beiruzzi doing his thing, and he is the chip leader. That is your guy from Canada, 3.8 million, one of the newest signings for Team GG. 
and on his way to hopefully a very special day already guaranteed 48,000 a lot of money up top john 339,000 for first place unfathomable so, money for for a low stakes grinder you know what i mean like me watching these guys competing for hundreds of thousands of dollars it's uh my heart if you can see my heart right here on my apple watch it's been elevated for the past 35 minutes here see an all in Radoja again all in very short ace jack off he is gonna pick this one up he is gonna pick it up very nice so we got we got Coleman Rudolph here and Radoja all under a million Rodrigo as well toting the line See if Rudy decides to defend the 10 9 off here. Spikes a 10. Yeah, this is this is now the best hand. Romero's gonna fire in a little C bet here. Yeah, definitely, definitely does go for it there. And uh, Beruzzi with a pair out of position. Can't imagine going away now. Two big boys. Hmm. <laughs> it just turns the absolute butters. <laughs> yes, this is a... I think a, that can... Yeah, it'll be an easy getaway, I think, from Beruzzi. Yeah, I don't, I don't see how he can really hang on here. This just changes a lot. And pots and it. Big bet. Big bet. This would be a good bluff with sort of like the ace, you know, ace five of spades, something like that. But this is a, this is not a bluff, John. That is a, that is a nutsack. nutsack <laughs> that is absolutely the nuts, and we are on our way to. A battle potentially with these two, Ramiro and Beiruzzi, with the top of the chip count. They are the only two currently over three million, both over three point five million. So we've seen a very active Ramiro today. Interesting on that flat with Ace King of Hearts, but he's definitely not been playing tight. He's been mixing it up and he's been mixing it in, and it's a little easier to play when you get a hand like this. He's got kings, yeah. and he is going to go ahead and open it up and maybe not have a customer here. The big blind definitely has a hand closing the action, could defend, also very short. Um, could could debate to call and, and get involved, although you know here you are. Uh, Ooh. Uh, yeah, first the chip leader, and this might get in right because this has more twos in his range. He could check raise. Uh, he could check call. I mean, Ramiro has to love the flop, and you know, if, if if David did go ahead and check raise, he could also could just call right the bet, and then if it depending on the realize, turn, yeah, could could try to get his. Um, and yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, that's uh, folding's not an option. We know. <laughs> Whoa, quite a quite quite a card here. So now, King of Diamonds too. Um, how can you go anywhere? You can't. Yeah, no, he can't. This, and this is he, good. Yeah, definitely could check back though. He could check back and see, but at the same token, he's just gonna target. You know three x's that that pay he's going to target four fives you know charge them he does lose to some flushes but he might expect to get check raised with some flush draws so you know, interesting now what david does with this with the size and with what's happening because he also can realize he needs to protect a bit versus a hand such as ace queen or like kings with one diamond that his hand is still vulnerable so you may actually go ahead and see the check raise here <laughs> Uh, my palms are sweating. <laughs> oh, sick! Wow, 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 wow! So a, sick! It is. It is brutal. And now you know checks. There, there's boats out there. There is the ace of diamonds that somehow he could have like ace four, ace five off with the diamond. But there's just not you know a lot of a lot of hands that you're beat you're losing to now and. He's got 500k. Checks it over. Let's see what Ramiro comes with. This is a oh, this so is a this is a dirty dirty river. He does go for all of it. 
And, you know, honestly, I think David could find a fold here as played. Yeah. The eight hot flush on a four card. I think someone in chat Dapper says he thinks that David still calls. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think he's going to call. I think like as played, it makes sense. Like even like ace queen, ace king, a pair for with sure. a one dot, like jacks with the diamond, you know, that, that goes through. I think he's going to find a fold here. I'm just a little. It just hurts. <laughs> I think someone in the chat says I should have ripped a turn. I think if you rip a turn, you, it's going to be the exact same result. It's just going to be more of a, just now it's more brain power to <laughs> save a few chips. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh, and he finds a call. And we're going to see our first casualty, my Canadian brother. Oh, and the ace. Oh. Tough spot. I mean, again, you could argue could have got in at a different point. As it stands, Ramiro is going to be into the chip lead, and GG Poker winnings over six million now for David Coleman. And you can see his super millions. Quite an impressive resume. Quite a talented player. Another star in Canada is in the mix, and another score. So we'll see him out in ninth. I'm sure we'll see him more often at the GG Super Millions. We see him frequently make it deep. If you see his resume. You know, he does uh, does have some, I think, eight caches already, played 28 times, and, and a very impressive resume on GG. So good game to David Coleman. Everyone guaranteed 61,845 now. Things maybe loosen up a little bit. We do see some short stacks. Radoja and Rudolph are on the short stack still, and Beiruzzi is in second. Ramiro Patron, the chip leader. I hope you guys took a while. Took a while, almost an hour to get our first knockout, but that means the blinds have gone up several times. The stacks are more consolidated and we are going to be seeing some big action again guys you do have four, I believe four of the players right you got Radoja, Beiruzzi, Mart Arter and Chris Rudolph for a chance at the hundred dollar giveaway it'll be at least a 50 if one of those players don't win but we invite you to hit the thumbs up help support the stream a lot we got over 1600 watching right now really appreciate you guys oh, being in see. and here we go here it is King Queen Jax classic flip uh there is there is a Two club flop, queen king off. Oh, Ooh. sweat, 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 sweat. Is it green? Is it a paint? It is no, it is and not. We are that. gonna see back to back okay. GGs. Funny how that works sometimes. You don't see anything, and then we see two in a row. Good game to Chris Rudolph, another guy that has got a lot of. Oh, he looks there. cool, actually. Yeah, that is uh, that's guy. He's got some. I don't believe that's him, but that is. Oh, if that, I was like, I have a new favorite poker player. If that was. <laughs> that is, that is a quite an avatar. That is quite a resume. 12 million in earnings. We're down to seven, 78,000 locked up right away. So here we go. Also, someone in the chat asked if I play at the Lodge or at TCH. I have been pretty exclusively um, at Texas Card House here in Austin. We're actually going to head over this evening. If you are in the uh, Austin area, swing over, toss some cards around. Um, that wh where is that located exactly? That is a little bit, a little. It's south, uh, North Austin, sorry, but a little bit south of the lodge. I do believe. I, I'm a, I'm a big just throw it in Google Maps kind of guy, and uh, and <laughs> get there. Look at Ramiro. Um, look at Ramiro going for it with the jack ten off here and putting Sergey in a bit of the blender with the king jack. Uh, off which also is a decent four back candidate hand so let's see maybe sergey just not having it and wants to wants to set the tone here a little bit but look at that does. wow puts that in the mix what a right? that, that's just a that's just read like that's wild that i is... love it uh north austin yeah lodges are in round rock got you that makes more sense and patrick you just left austin what were you doing down here buddy maybe acl maybe is that Maybe that's um, true. That's what a lot of people are here for. There was a lot of there was a lot of hungover mornings there, a lot of hungover faces at TCH over the last few weekends. Yeah, there's there's there was a lot of lot going on, that's for sure. There's been, <laughs> there's been a lot happening. Austin is one of the 
one of the very, very cool cities in the world. And look at this, man. Babe Ruth is putting on a show today for the fans. He's going upstairs. The Ace Jack suited. We saw Sergey rip King Jack off. Now he's got Ace Jack off, but a little bit of a different situation in a different position. But, man, I like Babe Ruth. has been, been being aggressive with some, like, strong, weakish hands. You know what, what I mean? Like, the, the Ace Jack off, King Queen off, really going for it. And this is a very difficult position and gets the better hand to fold again. Babe Ruzi, man, eight is... My it guy, it's his day season. today. He is playing quite a game, and he's looking for that 339. As you see, the ninth and eighth place finishers were at 78. One more spot, and then everyone will be guaranteed six figures. Nice club to be in online. And Arthur, who started out a little bit active, has been a little more quiet. He's got 1.8 million, and we are seeing Sergey get involved also, who's been fairly quiet. So let's see what the jack three off. Arthur just may not be interested in this one which he isn't so Merdoja now the shortest stack Ramiro with 4.5 million and our guy Beiruzzi hanging tough in second with 3.7 million rocking and rolling right now and the only mark is the only stack here under the mill mark <laughs> under the mill mark get it <laughs> I, I get it i dig it i dig it we are we are um we are we're in the mix here. we are in the mix and we got ourselves a flop we got a little gut shot but drawn to the low end and beruzi opening king six off on the button flops top pair it is a dicey ish board Let's see if that takes it down Bruzy climbing to the four million mark, a little bit under. That's up to ace ten here. Yeah, this is this is this is a few modest hands. We saw Sergey rep King Jack off in a four bet uh, spot. He just calls here, gets a queen seven deuce heart heart flop. He does have some stuff. Uh, in the he does have some stuff working right he's got he's got some back doors and he also has an aggressive player Beiruzzi showing that he is not just pedaling by any means so let's see could he could he float could he could he check raise he has options here with the king jack off but you know this is uh this is again about a quarter pop bet from Beiruzzi he's got control of the hand he's just kind of all working got for him control. right now kind of welcome to, welcome to the four million club Beiruzzi by welcome, I mean like I'm not there, but like welcome is in like you know what I mean. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I listen, I get it. Hey, you're allowed to root for your, <laughs> for your country, man. You got him on your squad as as well. Uh, it is, it is, it is definitely going his way so far. It's a lot of poker left, a lot of poker left at the moment. But this is this is definitely a good start for Beiruzzi. I know that I would imagine this would be a career score for him. I'm not positive, but. Yeah, I know he he's in. I haven't seen him in the super millions before, and this is a lot of money up top, three hundred and forty, and got a lot of fans over there from Beruzzi's Twitch channel, from his content streets, and he has just kind of had the answers right now, party. I mean, he really is playing. Well. on the clinic. He is doing just that. It is, it is a, so far so good. And he's picking up, you know what he's, he's 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 making the best out of hands that are not great and he's picking up some some eights you know what i mean we saw the ace you saw the queens earlier yeah and sergey with the ace jack i'm assuming we're gonna see if never mind <laughs> We see a snowman here on the flop. And Joe, I'll see you tonight. I'll be at TCH for sure. And Bruzy lays down the eights. And, ooh, we got the Rockets. The Rockets have been dealt to a very active player. He is on the puck. He's got the chip lead. He's got the Rockets. This is also, this is also going so far so good for Ramiro. Let's see what he does on 
a pretty standard open Radosha, the king three off. Just snap folds it. Doesn't it hurts. That, that it. hurts. <laughs> it does. It does indeed. And he is off to a unbelievable start to the day. Chip leader with seven left, all all going. And and this guy, yeah, Ramiro Patron has been a a absolute stone cold crusher as of late, and one of the bigger 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 uh, success stories. I've seen him sort of rise to the top, playing the biggest 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 stakes in the world so good to see him again here with the chip lead seven left see if he can get another title i believe he has one to his name so far in the super millions and ace king again going to get passed out no one really with a hand archer with a king do suit in the big blind would be interested in continuing although he would be dominated Let's see what he comes with here Does call. Not so much of an action flop. King Du Suda has potential. This is not going to be it. Sir, Sergey does flop top top and goes for a about 33% size. Next hand so they, dealer. Yeah, yeah. Next let's, hand dealer. <laughs> let's move on. You got to be careful. I'll tell you what, when you're playing with some of the world's best, we got some of these guys that are absolutely savages. You would think so, but they just sometimes that one I think you're right, but you <laughs> but that you don't trust. <laughs> I feel you. They can they can definitely surprise surprise the viewers at home. So it is a it is absolutely that was the case, and we are going to still be seven handed here. And Radosha was six sixty seven. He doesn't even get a chance to jam the ace as Andres goes ahead and opens the jack ten off. And again, the Brazilian uh, representation at the final table here today. If you guys aren't familiar with Rodrigo, also he's not so Rodrigo. He is a he is a a absolutely talented player with one super millions title and doing his best to keep it going here so let's see if he can if he can get so, it done so this yeah. super millions here on gg is it is it only the 10k or they have like a 10k like a 1k like a do they have different levels of it uh so this is a super millions 10k event there is there is satellites options to get into it but this is once a week uh, the soup, you know, it's a 10k buy in on Sundays, but you can satellite in and then final table gets played Tuesdays every Wicked. Tuesday, 2 45 Eastern. So, yeah, well, 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 listen, party, when you let's uh, let's let's hope to see you here. That's what we'll say. Let's hope we can see you listen, on this, this show. A few years in the lab, and we will emerge as a 10k crusher. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, well, let's let's see. My all I know is Beirut. He's got Ace Jack in his three bet, three bet school of hands, and he has really had good timing today. Although Andres could peel here for that price with that particular hand, you know, it's uh, it can be a little bit of a mistake sometimes when you do that, especially at this juncture of the tournament. You can get yourself in some tough situations. We, but we, we've noticed Beirut. He sized down his three bets a little bit. I guess I'm assuming from standard. It's an interesting question. How many runners does this tournament get? So I don't, uh, I'm not seeing that up here because I don't have the lobby up. I'm in, I'm not in, I'm in the USA and I don't have GG open. Same. But, um, <laughs> but um, that's a good question. Maybe we can get the the chat, uh, I'll check with them if it shows how many runners. It also shows how many rebuys um, we can, we can. Yeah, uh, let's see. There's an old saying in poker, Jeff. That the that. seven is always coming. I have been hearing that. I, I have been hearing that. There's been people that have said that, and we are going to be. Oh, no, not, what a dumb not, saying. <laughs> hey, um, you know, it's it's uh, it, it's it's not over though, right? He's actually that Andy is true. Andy has the best hand, as a matter of fact. That is right true. Now, with. A lot of cards to fade, a lot of stuff that would have to go right, but currently he is R in. Ramiro with, here too. With the, some wheel draw. I don't think either one of those pl these players go anywhere, do they? Wow. Except both of them. 
Nice, <laughs> nice bet by Andre. Except both of them. Very nice. Puts himself over two million. Hello, Beirut in the hizzy. They're just getting handed out right now. The chip. We've been thing. seeing these aces though, but the aces are getting handed out with nobody else picking up anything, and like I mean, like nothing. Yeah, so there's 103 entries and uh, 70 play. It looks like 167 buys, what I'm told, and 70 actual players. So, um, it's a yeah. lot of rebuys, so, my so, lord. Yeah, it's a big, big boy, <laughs> big boy tournament. In for a couple bullets, and here Ramiro is he still gonna just go for it with his stack? Is he gonna take the Jack Seven off, or does he have low respect that his short stack may show? Oh, this is deep. Yeah. You can't. Do you, can you fold this? Like if Andreas jams here, can you fold this if you're Mark? Are you not getting this in? Not when you're the shortest stack. You're calling here, right? I think when you're when you're the actual shortest stack, you have to just go for it. But yeah, he's my, off. my. I need a three here. I need a five here. <laughs> Flop, flops the wheel, board pair, some chop outs, and the river is a. Ooh, it looks middling, sort of like a nine. Uh. That is a good game. Beirut. Another casualty. Another one bites the actual dust. Mark Fredoja goes out in seventh. All players. Both my Canadian 000. boys gone. Yeah, I'm thinking in terms of the, the overall, our wager for dinner. Um, Not looking good, big guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who, uh, who do I have left? Beruzzi. Wait, just. Is it not? Have, it's not just Baruzzi, is it? it? Can't be. No, you have, you have name name it, Andres name. Oh, oh, I'm fine. I'm still. A, I'm really in this. I'm still in this big time. You're way in it. Yeah, you're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. Uh, you're not. You're not hurting. You're not hurting. You're gonna. You're gonna get it done. You're gonna get it done. I, I like your chances. Either way, we have a nice dinner, so it doesn't matter. You know, that's that's the that's the nice part about these bets, John. Where it's, are uh, you now? Currently, where yeah. I'm set, I'm in Miami. You're all over the place still, eh? Miami, yeah, but traveling, still been traveling a bit. But yes, um, got you. We'll we'll link somewhere for sure in the next six to eight months. Yeah, yeah. So now non-COVID times. Look at this Queen Seven suited for my man Rodrigo. Very nice. Uh, and, and my man asked him about the river. You know, I love the river peel, the river cam, and all. It is a lot of nice features, functionality here on GG. We are seeing a special final table at 340 going to first place and we see the chip leader Ramiro Patron doing his thing and Sergey's been pretty quiet anyone else does anything stand out for you so far party anyone who feel like you're just playing just um, all that's standing out to me right now is the rooster power baby the rooster power is flowing it's just uh, this is a great experience no matter what to watch uh watch these guys do what they do on on the biggest platforms you know what I mean um I've de it's definitely making me want to hop into the lab a little bit, get me a little bit of jazzed up for the cash session tonight. What what state? What do you usually play? You play Snap. in PLO or most? Oh wow. no, I can't. I can barely spell PLO, Jeff. Let alone let alone get in the streets. <laughs> Yo, this Bay Ruzi man. I mean, this guy's got a plan. He is attacking middling stacks with modest hands and it's a heart. You got heart, baby. Andres Nemeth is is sort of you know it's this guy's. One of the best players to ever do it. Uh, yeah, this is this is impressive. Although at some point Nemeth may strike back. They say open light, three bet tight. Uh, like I said, or open tight, three bet light. It is a thing that our friend Beiruzi is definitely three betting pretty light here today. And Nemeth has chipped up nicely to two point seven million. Does he just move on to the next hand, or is, does he say, you know what, this is enough? Let me make. Let me fight back here a little bit. Let's see what he. I'm comes done with guesses here at this final table, Jeff. <laughs> All right, so he does kick, Ooh. kick, kick it up. Wow. <laughs> PLO is hard to spell. I'm Adam. I listen. I feel you. <laughs> I mean, he's tanking. There's no way he's really going to go ahead and surf this. Is he? Is he just going to make a statement for him? And it'd be crazy. Is he just going to say, you know what? I don't buy it. I got a hand that I just think I could come back. Maybe a click back. Does he ever click it to 1.1, 1.2? I mean, it's, he's, he's tanking. And he doesn't – I don't feel like he's a tanker. I don't think he's – I don't think so tanker. either. He's thinking. I mean, it would be an insane play. Like, it would really be pushing the envelope. And he is uh, – the more you, they say think long, think wrong, I think he's thinking about what sizing he's going. That's what it feels like, at least. This is <laughs> – Again, we're on delay, but he has taken quite a bit of time to be folding, and I don't think he's flatting. So let's see. 
Has he got it? Is he going to 1.25? 1.35? It was, oh, Ooh. he was, <laughs> he was he thinking about it. it. He wanted it. He really did. <laughs> he really did. I see some uh, blind on blind action here. Little two, little two diamonds on the flop for some action here. Could be some action. We still, I think we're deep enough now. Andres with the that stack is that we're just going to see a lot of limps here. I like that. My my blind on blind game is atrocious. Yep, Ace Eight Suit definitely on the candidate to to raise the limp, and we can confirm 103 entries, 64 re-entries was the exact number. So yeah, 100 103 uniques in this 10k buy-in good sign and what a flop we got a little action <laughs> for everybody pairs and draws pairs and draws so we see open ended with an over we see bottom pair and see a check check so ramiro with the best hand Gonna go ahead and see a check again on the turn. Does Andres want to go ahead and set that a little bit? Maybe could could get some protection. Could also, you know, keep control of the hand. But he says, you know, maybe I have the best hand with ace high. Does check back. Doesn't want to get blown off it as well with the open ended and an ace high. So let's see with Ramiro on the river. We haven't really seen any blocker bets, which we see sometimes. Some players like to put in sort of like a ten percent river bet kind of blocker blocker value bet. But as it stands, he does go ahead for 175. And you know, if you're Andres, you do beat hands, right? You beat hands such as Jack Queen, Jack King. They never put any money in. I don't know. There's a chance. There's a chance he goes and bets. Doesn't have a spade. Loses the spades. Loses the two pairs. Loses to one pair, for a matter of fact. So I don't know. I, I, these spots are always interesting, though. He played it very coy, though. Hardy. He did. He did not. Did not bet sure. at all with the with the ace high and the open ended. So you know you can't necessarily fault him if he decides to flick it in, see what see what's going on. Doesn't inflate a big pot. Got to the river. Yeah, uh, I think I think uh, ultimately, again, I think this is pretty close. Talk about randomizers or maybe opponent sort of kind of read sizings. Why the game's so interesting? How you play versus one player or the other? The sizings that players make. Take notes out here. This is. Um, this is definitely high level stuff. And listen, I'll tell you, there's always there's always something there to learn. Yeah, I think um, yeah, he does, oh, he does find the call. call. I don't think that's a yeah. Not me talking about I don't think about these players, but I think like, like, ace high call is definitely very uh understandable. Yeah, reasonable, reasonable situation there. And for uh, sure. Nice, nicely done by Ramiro with the sizing on the river. Give me one second there, Jeff. Yeah. We are going to keep playing with you guys. We are down to a six-handed event at the moment with 100,000 locked up. You can see the jumps on the lower right of your screen. The man Beiruzzi is having himself quite a final table. He's sitting right around $4 million. Second place currently with six left. Running hot is right. Rooster Nation in the building. Andreas in the chat asks about Swedish license with GG. And... Uh, I don't, I'm not, I'm, I don't know particularly about Sweden, what's going on. I know there are some different laws, um, Sweden being one of those countries, but I really don't know what specifically is happening at the moment there. It would be great. Obviously, it's great. The more poker around the world we get, the better it is. You know, it's, um, it is. It, the more countries, the more liquidity. Great game. Keeps moving on. What did we miss? Nothing. Beirut is chilling on four mil. That's basically basically it. Going to open here, certainly. Queen for Sue. We've seen him open lighter from different positions. He does go for it. And no one really having a very strong hand. Archer down to 1.3. Been quiet. We haven't seen, yeah, we haven't seen Archer play many, uh, play many hands here at this final table. After that sick laydown with a set of tens. Mm, yeah, two, that, three. That, that was sick. That was a sick, sick hand. That's definitely sick. A hand, of, hand, hand of the day. The, the snap hold as well is just, uh, yeah, very cool. Oh, we're going to see a defend here by Sega for sure. You ever three bet fold this? We're still going to open. 
yeah, I mean, a uh, versus chip leader who could be kind of wide, maybe just to just to take control of the hand and pick it up there. You're going to be getting some weird, you know, spots you get outplayed, like like here, for example, where you get a flop that you don't love. But you know, both players checking here. Ramiro decides on this board that it's just not a has more of an advantage for the big blind. So with his particular hand, he doesn't want to be blown up the pot with king three. And here we see a check check on the turn. And Ramiro with a king three suited does check back. King jack off hmm. has the best hand. Wait, Coleman's American? Just living um, in Canada? Well, he's close enough. Yeah, it's North America. We'll count it. So it's, it's it's in the it's in the region in the vicinity. All right, King three suited. Does he tell a story here at this point? Doesn't make sense to bet, and he does go for a bet on the river. I mean, I guess figuring he could make some like weak ace highs fold, maybe yeah, like a better king. But a little bit of an interesting, interesting line there, and well played from Ramiro, who's closing on that five million mark. And there's Andres with ace queen off. Arthur releases, and it's king. Sorry, ace queen versus queen three. Queen three gonna fold. I think we're gonna see some fireworks in the next few hands here. I you feel it. I'm getting a little. I'm getting a little tingly. You're feeling a big, big confrontation. Well, so mm -hmm. far we're we're not. We haven't had that. We've had a couple of big hands. We haven't really seen a big quarter. The ace king to queens to jacks. There was danger averted by the line played, and that could have got that could have got a little spice. That could have got spiced up, but we didn't. We did not see it. We did not see a confrontation and we see a limp again this time andres checks back raised ace eight suited this time he's just going to check the nine three off definitely one he could put into a light three bet but as it plays fives get to see a flop neither player loved the flop but that is a big turn card didn't need it but that sign that locks up the hand at least in the moment i guess a four that is not a spade could arrive but other than that it is going to be a a complete bank for Ramiro, who is he's having it, he's having it work. I'd say him and Beiruzi are having the smoothest final table, five million and four million respectively, and they are the uh, ones and we see that. again. Look at this. We've seen aces handed out, but look at the, what the other players are holding. King high, king six is the best. <laughs> yeah, it's brutal, pretty crazy, pretty crazy. That's that's been every single time. All right, not much here. We see Ramiro with a a six. Thinking no one's behind him that can do too much damage. Although he is going to wake up with the ace jack, and again, twenty bigs cut off chip leader opening. This could definitely just get stuffed in. There it is. Doesn't think long. Doesn't make a meal of it. And Ramiro is going to yeah, going to move on. <laughs> But ace king here. So again, Romero, we we saw takes could take this spot, show a little bit of aggression, put the foot down a little bit. He's been doing a lot. He's been extremely active. He's actually come at Sergey a few times. I mean, again, the stacks he can put a lot of pressure on is that sort of middling there stack, goes. and this is going to be uncomfortable for Sergey, but also just kind of like an easy one, right? It's not like ace queen suited he's got or pocket eights or nines it's like a very strong hand that you think something could be going on he is getting out of line and this time not going to work though just no nope. third game is just going to meet this with a big old re-raise Gary, you are right i do want carnage Ooh. all of it Full enchilada going to take it down. Nice hand for Sergey. Nice timing. Andres Nemeth, any fans out there? He is up to 2.9 million looking nice. And he's got a playable 8 9 suited and plenty of chips. Some pretty hands here. Yeah, you can open that up. Yeah, suited all around. And Rodrigo with the weird one, though. He's in a small blind. You're supposed to be very tight here. Um... <sighs> Very tight. He says, "Not today." <laughs> not, not this. Time. He's gonna go ahead and not and today. Rip, rip it in. Rip it on in. Yes, very nice. I 
Everyone, please pray to the rooster god, says Nully. Who is the best ACR player? Me, Longcar, Vanessa, or Ebony? Vanessa's not part of ACR anymore, and I would say with Ebony's recent success, probably Ebony. <laughs> she Girl has been a, on fire. Quite a quite a run in Cyprus, scoring almost two million. That was had a good that time that time. was crazy, hey. I was following that here, like, because my girlfriend was over with Ebony over in Cyprus, and then she was updating me, and I was like, "There's no way this is real." It's pretty sick. And she was all in on the bubble for like two blinds. You know, like, what, <laughs> yeah, what, so a, what a what a what a what a run! <laughs> Shout out to Ebony. No, we have a good. It's it's good to see. There's there's a lot of great lineups through the uh, the team pro rosters across all the online sites right now. Um, it's it's good to see who who these sites are, you know, deciding to put weight on and deciding who to bring into their teams. Right, there's uh there's some pretty sick lineups all across the board. Queen nine, Jack nine, both players with a pair. Ramiro out of position with a slightly better hand. Eight hundred in the middle. This is an important pot, and we see a seven nine king ace board. So let's see what happens. It is blind on blind. Well, well, well. Big jack on the river for Andreas. Yeah, it is. It's almost um, 781 in the middle with his pot. I guess like the, he has a diamond. The backdoor diamonds come. They're straight. There's a lot of better two pairs. He's sort of like, still think it's probably it's strong enough to value bet as the hand play with check, check, turn, check on river. Because, you know, Ramiro can't really expect Andres to bet here. I mean, yeah, goes for a value bet. Interesting. Interesting sizing. No, well, get him up over the uh, three milli mark. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So, Arthur Rodrigo here are two sh are two shorties, but they're not drastically short. Little double up puts them right back into the top of the mix. Yeah, no one, no one out of this at all. I mean, everyone, everyone with healthy stacks here, so. This is uh, this is anyone's game. We see a limp in with the eight nine and king four going to check back as eight nine jumps in the lead. Six six eight two diamonds. Goes for a bet. King four could have the best hand. There's definitely draws here. He also has a backdoor diamond, so peel one can't blame him for that. Eight nine is going to still have the best hand on the turn. Ten of spades comes. I guess F7-9 as well blocks that. Besides the check. Does Beiruzi want to take a stab here? No. King high on the river. Mm. Ace hits. And that's a welcome sight for Andres Nemeth, who is going to probably believe that's the best hand. Can kind of rule out a six on the turn. Chops with a lot of stuff. I mean, 7-9 for the bet as well. Just check them. So, yeah, I, uh, I, I think... You know, eight nine gonna feel feel decent. Pretty about confident here. Pretty confident, and Beiruzi can't love this 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 board in general. I did see a check back on the turn. Decided to check back, and with that bet, King High does not meet beat many things. There's a few. There are a few seven five, some other diamonds. I don't know, but that size, man, it's 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 hard. You know what I find the most amazing about these stakes and this what's that this tournament is that the the players in these spots just seem to get they they're right so much like yeah hero calls like they're just rarely paying off bets and being wrong you know here again not a huge pot so this is a little less important in terms of being right but still just it's like just, they're, they're dialed just, in man seem to get it right a lot it's just yeah. almost like it's second nature oh we could see we could see some fireworks here especially with bruzy well they're gonna get it in probably blind on blind here if it gets there but it's not the circus and open sixes You get a three bet here at the, at the small blind. Sergey's been getting getting attacked a bit. I think that now with that particular hand and here a seven suit also closing the action plays pretty well. Um, besides to, to just check, although 
You can see sixes now goes for a bet and a seven suited just gets out of the way. Doesn't want to no. get cute there. Can't blame him. Nice, nice pickup for Sergey. Yeah, sometimes a player uh, in the chat asking, what does the 9-8 hope gets called by? Sometimes there's some blocker bets too, right? Players are sort of blocker betting because they don't want to give a player a chance to be betting a lot. Or, you know, they want to just sort of set the pot size to, and, and with their own bet, they, they're sort of taking control. So you see a lot. 4080K, we are up, lines are up, and we are on the way to a winner with six remaining, six figures locked up. A Ruzi looking for history. Ramiro Patron, if I, I got to say, Bay Ruzi has played, uh, let's see, this is, so he's cashed five times in this event, but no wins. Also, oh, Ruzi's cashed five times? Yeah, Mark Radoja also no wins, and Sergey also no wins. Sergey, like, kind of brand new to the field. Arthur has five wins. Bay Ruzi has 250,000 in cashes in this tournament. And uh, Ramiro Patron has one win. Marco Doge is zero, but he is now out. And David Coleman also had zero. He is now out. Andres Nemeth won three times this season two. And uh, yeah, also, yeah, that's basically the rundown on who's done what. So we, and Rodrigo has won once as well and has a, has a decent resume. So a couple, couple potential history today. And also Archer, if you were to win, would be the first six-time winner. Who's your pick right now, John? Who do you like the most? Forget. I know you're sticking, biased a bit. sticking with the rooster, man. Just going. He's 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 impressed me today. He really has. He's been he's been three betting light. He's been he's been really going for it. So I, I like it. You know, he's playing to win and he's he's doing well to be tied for second place right now. Yeah, those uh those top those top three well top four guys are pretty even there in chips and they just have Arthur and uh, Rodrigo. Just one sec here, Jeff. I'm just trying to figure out some uh, some audio tech stuff here. And trust, if you remember the Thirst Lounge, I'm not much of an audio tech here. No worries. I, I, I get it. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. I'm definitely not a tech, <laughs> tech guy myself. It's amazing. Like sometimes on, you know, Zoom calls or just stuff, I'm like, it's hard to get the right settings on. I so, feel it. No worries. Uh, Jack nine, King nine, King nine gets to a river, has the best hand, 420 in the middle. This would actually be for the chip lead pot if he gets the check back from Ramiro. Ramiro has, you know, he beats a few hands for arguments to take a stab here with Jack High. And he does do just that. All right, Ramiro finds the way to win the pot. Okay, we got suited seven eight. Doesn't want to open with the stacks behind and how they've been playing. So, you know, that's another thing. You start three betting light. You take away players' ability to open sort of wider because they get they know that you're not just going to lay down. Gonna do a little test of my audio here, Jeff, so we can see if the uh, the gang in the back's all right with it. It sounds good to me. I think there was a uh, yeah. I think it should be good, but it's so far, I hope everyone at home believes it sounds good. It sounds good to me, and we see a lot of people rooting for the rooster here. Appreciate you guys hitting that thumbs up. We will get that giveaway. Give you a keyword when we get down to three handed 
where we can put that in. And again, it will be 50 or hundred dollars. You guys still have several players for the $100 bonus in play right now, but either way, you guys will be getting a GG ticket giveaway and you can hit the thumbs up and then type in the keyword when that keyword comes, but appreciate that, man. John, we got 2000 on the dot watching us right now. 2000? 2000 on a Tuesday, baby. That's what we do. I'm not used to this limelight, baby. Yeah, we're hey. Don't say, listen. That's not true. This man, did you? You were Big Brother champion, weren't you? What season? I was that? back in the day. Uh, back in the day, sir. That was like, man, bro. That was all. That was like eight years ago now. Thirst Lounge was like what three years ago? Uh, um, yes, it was maybe yeah before the pandemic. Twenty nineteen, yeah. Um. Yeah, that's, that's that feels uh, like a whole nother lifetime, Jeff, from the from the from the person you bought down to the Virgin Islands three years ago to <laughs> to three years later. Yeah, it's it's it, it goes fast, man. The time goes fast. Crazy. I remember those being down there in the at the thirst lounge. Look at this ace five wheel comes through. That was that was a lot of fun, man. That was a good time. A lot of a lot a of wild uh, time. Wild uh, time. That mile still, that six minute mile, that's got to be one of the highlights, man. Where can people find that? Just type like John. That is, I think it's still on the Thirst Lounge YouTube. It's like Big Fat Man Run Six Minute Mile or something like that. Like, <laughs> no training, no training either, right? Next day. But Jeff, like I'm here now, like I've been doing some running the past few weeks trying to get back into shape. And I'm looking at the pace that you'd have to go to run a six minute mile, like on the treadmill. And I thought, I can't look, I have no idea how it happened. We were just on a vibe. We were on a vibe down there, man. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, I, I still can't believe you did that. That That is a worthwhile video watch. If you guys have a chance to pull that up and take a look, but it is, uh, yeah, that's what uh, my man, where's target in the chat, leading the people 2000 watching only 171 thumbs up. We do have a giveaway for you guys too. If you participate that thumbs up, we appreciate it very much. And, um, yeah, wow, unbelievable, unbelievable events here. We have got our man Beiruzi, who's really trying to do it for Twitch, for the fans, for the content creators out there. He is doing his best, and he is in tied for essentially second place with some of the biggest names in the game. Rodrigo Silaquan is is short on 10, 10, 11 blinds through the blinds, and Andres Nemeth not going to make it easy, going to give an open here. And Archer been pretty quiet, but as we've seen, he made a great fold earlier and really hasn't had a chance to get unleashed here and these guys are such short stack wizards yeah yes it's uh it is it is, they play a very strong brand a very strong brand that's for sure um that is that is that is the that is the nature of these 10k online tournaments mr party there are guys that can play not many people just flicking it in but at the same time there are satellite winners and we do see some some uh oh hello heels the gutter ball look at this man the brazilian little run good Little run good. Yeah, this is uh, interesting because Nemeth with a check back now, he decides to go to the river and the the nine ten. It was the nuts on the turn, and for all for all intents and purposes, as the nut would expect, that on this Nemeth would kind of barrel some sort of spade draws, most likely. And as played, Rodrigo just thinking, how can I get paid? What do I do? Does check it over and look at Nemeth with a very, very weak hand. Maybe thinks a deuce, off here? deuce is somehow good enough, although I don't know what he thinks he gets to fold as played. Does he go for all of it? Maybe if he's going to bluff, would he just bet big? Uh, let's see what he comes up with here. I think he also realizes he doesn't have the best hand a lot. So let's see. Maybe it Something is the whole like these guys too, it's like the, the amount of time they take to think about the game and to think about these decisions and like the intricacies of what has to be going through their mind in every situation. It's just, it's, it's so, wow. wow. <laughs> <does he> stab? <laughs> nice play. Very nice hand. Sick. Wow. Very nice. Very nice check and a great moment for 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 the dinner bet for myself and, and a nice play from Brazilian. Uh Rodrigo is gonna go ahead and, and set the trap. Andres takes the bait. 2.8 million now for Andres and 1.8 for Rodrigo. And everything gets a little tighter in here. And ace 10. Is this enough? Probably enough. 15 blinds with the there it is. leader open. Just recognizes where he's at. 
I like Romero. I like Romero's opening that, uh, widening that opening range here. Big chip lead. I'm going to see a defend yeah. by Romero here as well, I assume. Or does Romero just want to take it over and say, screw it all, three bet folds, the king jack off? Nope, but he does have the king high flush draw now. The audio techs here, Jeff, behind the scenes are teaching me new stuff, and it's going to come in handy, I feel. I've always had some big audio uh, audio problems on the Twitch streets, so I'm learning new things here as we're commentating this 10K final table. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's always something, man. It's technology. It's not, it's, just, it's not. It's not. It feels like it should be easy. It's just it's not always the case, but we are going to be seeing – Nemeth now, ace three of hearts, getting put pressure on by Ramiro. Does call, gets a clean-ish river. And Ramiro now with a, a whole lot of nothing. King Jack off high, does have a key blocker and has to think, I don't have the best hand almost ever here. Can he tell a story in this spot? That's the key. That's the question. What is he telling oh. us? Oh. It'd be a sick, 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 sick call. By Andreas. Finds a fold. Makes sense. Romero takes out a nice pot there. Yeah, that is that is a that is a very nice pot. Romero, 5.1 million in control. Bay Ruzi, 3.3 million. And we see Archer now getting a little bit active and doesn't doesn't find a, a, someone behind with anything. So he is gonna chip up and uh, don't sleep on Archer. I'll tell you that right now. Do not sleep on this man because he can get going very quickly. 1.7 million. Queen eight suited, oh, gonna king. fold ace king. No one has anything. And he shows that he's, I real I really, 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 really like this guy. I think he's so good for the game. Yes. Hi, I'm telling you, high stakes guys with personalities, man. That's the that's the dream. And Canadian. Hector, the volume for this table, this is the $10,000. Super millions, correct? Super millions? Because you guys yeah, have the is... GG Masters as well, right? You guys have a bunch of big stuff going on. There's a lot going on. There's there's big stuff online everywhere. It is a absolute pleasure to do this. Honestly, I think I do learn a lot. I will say there's something with Booth Magic. I hope you're firing something big, fast, and heavy soon party because uh, you know this is uh this is cutting nice edge level. these guys are these guys are well, playing at a high high level big brand of poker here big 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 names for sure you can see some of the guys can we put i don't know if we have this graphic prepared if the if we have the mods and the the team ready but if arthur martorzian if we could put up his gg results i don't know if we have that available or handy i think they usually do at the end uh, early on the show we show some of the guys but his his gg profile his results are so astounding i think he's number two or three or one and GG, the rankings of the super millions, and then overall, I believe he has like 22 million in in, in super millions. I'll, I'll I'll see if we can get that flashed up there for you guys. And I'll, I know a lot of Archer friends at home, but his record is absolutely insane. Uh, I, I mean, do you about 20 million online on one site party? And I'll tell you what, I can't. Unfathomable. It's a, it's a lot. Unfathomable. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. I don't even know. It's hard to. It's it's honestly. It's hard to kind of put that into perspective. It's just like but... to get to that level is so crazy. Yeah, it really is. Um, and I can't pronounce his name so well. Often. It's crazy too. Where else do you get like, there's so much free content and study material that you could just for, like for free. Like you imagine what you could collect from just watching this stream. Now, obviously a lot of what these guys are doing, like it's probably different from playing the micros and stuff online. Cause it's like a whole different kind of, game and metagame and whatnot but just the uh the things you can pick up and just the the level of poker that you're able to see nowadays is it, it's unbelievable yeah it's it's it is a, there's there's a lot of great information out there well here ace 10 does have the best hand and nemeth is on the yeah i think we will be able to get his results up i did just send a note and the team will cue that up in a second but ace 10 to ace 9 and a winner winning hand on the river and there it is 27 million john 
5.6 on <laughs> CBA. I mean, that's like number one. That is your number one ranked Super Millions player in the building right there. So there's God. a look at what number one looks like. How do got, you, what, when you get to that point, like, what do you even do? Like, what's even going on? You go for a record six, six title. You got to. Is, and then you go for seven. Yeah, look at the chat, man. I love the chat. They're on top of it. They're telling it. They know. They're like, no, it's 27, isn't it 24? They're right, spot on. They are absolutely dialed in, and they are correct. And appreciate the 211 thumbs up. We are going to get that number up, and we are going to get the giveaway going here very soon. And you guys, again, will win a $50 or a $100 GG ticket if you are the person selected. We'll have a keyword for it, and we will. We will. Let me see. I think. Uh, that is so crazy. Yeah, people are talking about there's no GG in Canada. That there's no GG in Ontario, Canada. Uh, that is the only province where you are unable to play GG in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's too bad. I guess that Ontario is kind of going backwards um, with the regulation of poker. But I'm sure a lot of these sites that are staying in Ontario and playing the Ontario player pool are going to continuously get better and bring in more, more players to the sites. And look at Rodrigo. He is not buying this story from Deep Andre. Kind of, tank. kind of realizing like an ace queen or ace king would probably check back, sort of saying like, what do you value betting here? He does have the ace of diamond though, which is a key diamond, kind of one of the draws that, that would miss. You know, so uh does make the fold again. Like I said, it just seems like these guys get it right so much, right? They just seem to get it get it done. You know, uh, it's just kind of what it feels like. The guys seem to make the, the right decision more frequently than not when called upon. And we are seeing that once again with the with the nice fold there. Ace nine, definitely a bluff candidate to call and really, really. High level, man. High level stuff. Romero just getting a little richer. 5.4 million chips. The blinds are up 50, 100. Oh, We're yeah. seeing stuff, stuff moving now. This is where things really start to, to kick in at this level. And Ace Queen suited for 16 blinds. Goes for the min race. Yo, Richard from New Brunswick, Canada. What's up, my guy? Mm, not too spicy of a flop here. Small C, but it'll take it down. Maybe. A hell of, heck, fine, no, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. It's a funny, you have funny chat here too. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, definitely a fun group. That's for sure. What do we got here? What do we got here? Bruzy, Jack 10, nobody else really with anything. Yeah, this is, this is Queen Deuce. We got a lip here. Bayruzi has been given kind of a, Given Andres a hard time, although he did get fired back on that ace nine suited and would have, you could tell he was considering going with the king seven suit. Let's see if he's going to kick it up here with Jack 10 off. There are some shorter stacks, but again, Andres Nemeth, one of the tougher players to play against. And also Jack 10 does have some decent flop abilities. So does flops check. Gutty here. Yeah, flops a gutty and some backdoor hearts. So this is a, above average flop for Jack 10. Yeah, Winnipeg. We got a lot of Canadians in the house here today. Bruzy takes it down. The Ricky power. Ricky time assistance in full effect here. And we are probably this. We could see 18 bigs. Uh, they're actually maybe a little bit too deep to just get it in pre here. But it's, very, it's actually possible. The Ramiro says, I'm not going to let that happen. Yeah, the suit open from the cutoff. Andres, man, a lot of pretty hands. King Jack suited definitely is. pile in if Andres passes on the spot here. He's just thinking what his options are. Also, some maybe a little deeper could flat, but three betting is definitely 
a viable option, although Arthur will likely Ooh. would have surfed it in. Now, the question is, does Arthur four bet jam King Jack suited? You could versus these positions, you could definitely you could definitely allow it, but I still, you know, would not expect that. Although that would definitely be a, a play that you could do. But you know, Andres Andres off of that stack size, 22 blind. I wouldn't hate it. You know, they say this oh, is one no. of those. This is one of those hands that kind of this King Jack suited up to a certain amount of blinds. You can just sort of stuff in his late positions. Chip leader open. Andres Nemeth, who's capable of not being just absolutely bladed. And this would be a really big pickup if he were to execute this play. And then, you know, as we see it, he would obviously get the folds. He would pick up like 150, 225 dead there, plus the four, 680 plus 225. I mean, he would be like increasing his stack by about 50% with no shot. Oh, here, here we go. Here we go. Sick play. So sick. And it's just going to work. And it's just going to work. That's the sicker part about it. And if so he gets sick. called against a huge Queen or, or just as a massive pickup, that's what I said. Don't let this man get going. 2.6 million. Oh, you got to check I your rear view. I think the man's going. I think the man's going. Yeah, he's a bad but man. But now, listen, this going could be brought to a pretty screeching halt here with the uh, <laughs> ace queen ace nine. Yeah, I think you you see folds or, or flats. Although he's off seventeen blinds, flatting the small blinds a bit tricky. He happens to be dominated. Um, does he ever see? Wow. Uh, see, I felt that because you know I feel like these players playing a flow. There's a nine. Wow, this guy. I mean, I gotta tell you, it's not over yet. But this is a absolutely crazy start. And is it? Ooh, oh, 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 wow. That is uh, that is unlucky for Andres Nemeth. That is lucky for. Wow. for uh, and look at that. 14 million in GG Poker wins. All smiles there from the very, very talented player. Who yeah, I don't will, know how that smile is looking right now. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, one of the aggressive plays. But, you know, that's part of the – that's one of the, the, the benefits of – doing just that is you also can get there and he is now in second place and Ugh. looking very dangerous you, listen you said it you said don't let him get going <laughs> here he here he comes here he comes one light 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 four bet light three bet then gets there ace nine suited takes down ace queen suited i've said it for so many years ace queen suited just i don't know ace queen just seems to not get it done i just have a weird thing about that hand but hey he got it in good didn't hold, and now Arthur with 4.6 million. He is on the rise, and Beiruzzi going to be not getting those 215 back this hand as he will fold, and he is settling for currently third place. Five left, and we are guaranteed 128 if you are one of those five players. Not a bad Tuesday. A lot of play left, and let's see who's going to get the win, who's going to get the dinner, and who's going to get the free roll ticket. I have, I'm have. i down to my one guy, right? Wait, you, you have, have four of your guys left in? Four of them? Let's see. I got the Brazilian. I got Sergey. I got Ramiro. I got Arthur. Yeah, you, yeah this is uh, yeah. this is a boxing Four. match. <laughs> they, would, they would call oh, it off. No, man. they would call it off. This is you're in a bit of trouble. Oh you no, Bruzy, come on. Yo, I'll, look I'll at, bring. Look I'll bring. Some, I'll bring a. I'll bring a doggy bet. Look at this man, Jack Ten off for all of it, uh, and Rodrigo with the Ace Ten, the shortest stack he's picking on here. So man, this is. Uh, Wow. 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 I just, Beiruzzi, man, this guy is fun to watch. No fear, baby. I don't think he's going to call. The only thing is he is the shortest, and it is 14 blinds. Oh, he does call. We need a Jack. Wow. Jack Hart, Canada. Jack Hart, Canada. 10 is oh, not enough. And he's runner. No, 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 it isn't to be party. You just got clean sweep. That's obviously a 5X dinner bonus when you get sweep four zero which has oh, never been done this that's is a, a no this, that's a no boo night that that's a yeah yeah we're, we're going bring we're going big that's bringing, a no boo night bringing guests and we have got we have got five left and everyone guaranteed oh i'm sorry i'm sorry it's not over what are we talking about bay rusey has got 1.7 that was an aggressive move but we're i still, still believe this is, that that yeah. might have been the tsn turning point right here this that could be that could yeah. be the famous last words by jeff the early selly no, that was yeah, that was an early selling and, and <laughs> Bay Ruzi, who I know he is a fan favorite. We I got I got I got love for him too. What he does, the content he does, and, and being a part of Team GG. So yeah, I'm rooting for him to do well. Five left. I know he'd be, you know, it's a big score, but he's looking for more. And he's still uh he's still in it. He's still very, very in it with 17 
blind. So not Jeff, not we always. Have, we also have some. We also have some fellow Newfoundlanders in the chat here from oh, Middle yeah? Cove, Newfoundland. What's up, Newfoundland? Okay. I love it. I'm gonna love see you it. guys. I'm home in like three weeks. Look at Baruzzi. <laughs> Such a, man, I'm telling you, this guy, dude. Ace Queen, here we go. No one's gonna call him. Oh, nice. He gets the open in front too. He's gonna pick up like 412. No showdown. It'll be a 2.2. It's just a pretty clear fist pump back game. In it. Right back Ram in it. Ramiro is going to be not obliging with more chips in the middle. And this is a huge pickup to get that open versus just you know being able to min raise or whatever. He's getting to get the extra two blinds. So very, very timely. Spot Ramiro at five million gonna snap fold. Now one of the one of the advantages of opening a lot when you're aggressive is you get action on your big hands too. So you may like say, wait, man, he's opening nine, ten off, two is under the gun, you know, this and that. But like you also, if you play aggressive as a chip leader and you do play a lot of pots, you get played back at more. And then when you have big hands, you get to capitalize. So you know, it's an ebb and flow. And Ramiro's definitely on playing, playing the big stack and playing, playing a lot of hands. Here he's got the five nine off. He's gonna relinquish. And we are Beiruzzi. We're in a Beiruzzi big blind. He still has two million through the big blind, which is pretty nice. No one really has anything here. <laughs> Definitely rooster move. I'm telling you, sometimes maybe Ricky tells Beiruzzi he has to go with it. And you know, Beiruzzi does not like going against what Ricky says. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Sometimes Ricky's right. Sometimes Ricky's wrong. That's just that's the rooster way, baby. So it's it's the rooster way. Aggressive, <laughs> absolutely aggressive, and he has shown a lot of a lot of heart today. He has got a queen deuce of hearts on the button. Not opening now. Stacks a little different in the situation. Archer the five million goes for a limp. Could could have raised up here, but decides to just limp. He does spike that king there. Queen deuce connects with none of it. Yeah, I mean, this is Rodrigo's been pretty sticky. Wow. So he is gonna go ahead and raise it back. I actually I like the race because he is gonna Archer's gonna have a lot of air. And as played, this is an interesting turn card. Actually, picks up a gut shot and a club. He was just stone cold bluffing, but this is definitely one where he could continue he does decide to take the equity for a four or a club Ugh. which would have been good and archer with the king jack is going to have a winning hand all of a sudden he did have actually the whole way from the flop to the river every point got some adversity on the flop to see if he's gonna value bet maybe he's two 260 oh, he or more he goes for the big value i mean i guess targeting sort of like an ace four ace Ace X that maybe wants to call that was scared of the clubs, but uh, it is not going to be, and it is just going to be a 5.3 million stack. For chip lead chip goes leader. from this is wild. What a spin up! It's pretty, pretty wild for sure. He is a he's a guy that can get it done, and he is on the way. He is on his way up to another title. Could he go for number six? It's looking, it's looking, he's knocking on the there. door. He's knocking, he's knocking. What <laughs> oh, a lot. A lot of poker left. God, I love this game. It's just, it's just such a great freaking game. It is a beautiful game. And it's just, you know, the perfect mix, skill, luck, and yeah. all in between. We see that chess clock down to 444 for Beiruzzi. Everyone else fairly healthy. Oh. If that were to run down, that would be a, that would put us to a five-second timeline. If you were to use through your clock in every decision, that would be very tough. Plenty of time as it stands. And we got Sergey. Who has the best hand? Who's five-handed? Archer. Now the chip leader. Same same principles apply. He's got chip leader raising a little bit light, and he does go ahead and three bet. EG Archer got this in the bag. Yeah, well, a guy of that skill when he takes a chip lead with five people left, <laughs> that's a uh... yes. That is a that is a good spot to be in, and we see Ramiro with the ten seven off. How light? How wide does he go? How wide does Ooh, he go? Oh, interesting. I thought he was going. I thought he was. Uh, it seems like he's almost at like an any two kind of there on the button with the way he's been playing. Queen deuce, eight seven deuce in the flop, two hearts. Nobody has a heart. 
Yeah, so seven, eight, gonna take a stab. Queen deuce with a pair. We'll call one, four pairs. Seven, eight, does he go for another or just sort of give up? Seems like a decent time to slow down. Didn't turn any equity and- I, Interesting, I like, listen to these guys next, next level. Yo, Richard, if Jeff wins a dinner, send him a moose dinner. I, I, we could. You ever have moose, Jeff? You ever have moose meat? I have not. I have not. I have a good buddy named Moose, but I'm telling you, not that kind of moose meat, Jeff. Talking about like the animal moose meat. Uh, I have not. No, it's not. I have not. <laughs> I have not. I've, not, I've had no. I've had. I've had no moose before. How, what is it like? What's the closest thing you would say it's like? I can't even compare. I'm going, but I am going to send you some. I am going to get you some moose meat. I get, I get home, I'm going to check out, I don't even know if it's hunting season. I don't, I don't really hunt. I just eat. I, I love moose. Oh, baby. Ah. Just the call on the big blind with the king queen off. Flops top two. Bruzy connects their second pair as well. Schoon, come on. You're being silly now. You're just being silly now. I love this chat. Honestly, I like I, being a part. I consider this now where I've been here for a fair amount of time. We've done a lot of episodes and like the, you know, similar to Twitch. You see a lot of same people, users coming in weekly. And it's an amazing group. Very fun, very friendly, very animated. And uh, we got we got a good community here, man. This is a nice thing here at the Super Millions. And we got Beiruzi, who is in a bit of uh, a, a trouble here. Rough spot. Rough spot. Can he find the fold to the jam? King queen seven nine five has a ten blocker. Sergey with top two queen king seven nine five. Jack ten a, a little bit concerning, but with the SPR of one goes for half pot. And you know what? Ugh. This is an uncomfortable spot, and it looks like my camera got frozen. Um, Sorry, you guys are left here just with my mug chat. <laughs> it's the one yeah. thing we didn't want to have happen. <laughs> well, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to exit out. I'm going to exit out and come back in, try to fix this camera, and hope it works. So, John, carry the action. Good luck to Bay Ruzi. Oh, there it all goes off the rails. This is what, yeah, yeah listen. <laughs> hold it together, party. Hold it I'll together. try. Do I'll it. try. Luckily, luckily, not not employed by GG, so I can't really get fired. So, <laughs> Bruzy in the tank here, second pair up against top two. Can he find the fold? Maintain a decent stack. I think he can find a fold here as well, uh, Daniel. Definitely a tough fold though against a big line range who just called. I could definitely have some king X in the range. Here, look at me talking about ranges like I know something about them. Rooster's going to sniff it out. Bruzy in the RTA, Ricky Time Assistance Bank. Rooster power to fold. Get the rooster power out in chat. I think Bruzy might need this one. Bruzy might need all the rooster power he can get. The question is, oh, he's not sure if. The not sure if is usually I'm calling. Is that a non-believer? Rooster power, baby. Rooster power, baby. He folded. He found the fold. The rooster power, full effect. Wow. Wow. Nice. You were so excited. I thought maybe he like, I thought he like jammed and got a fold or something crazy. Was, <laughs> that would have been nutty. That would have been, that's asking a lot. That's asking a bit I'm telling you, he's a lot. I still, I still believe. I still believe in the rooster. Um. All right, we got the Eight. keyword. Oh my God, the keyword's about to be released. It's coming up. We're at three handed. I feel like we're going to get down there pretty fast. It's it's moving so quickly. Too. It's it's this time. It's that level. Uh, See, Archer definitely is with the stack he has now, opening those ranges up a little bit. Oh, and Ace Jack uh, is going to get it in here, but it's not going to get any callers.
He's Jack, but a, a, a pivotal, pivotal pot. I mean, he gets still gets to pick this up, right? He's got uh, <laughs> Arthur playing. That's hilarious. I love that. Gives him a little, <laughs> little bit of banter. Everyone, everyone having having fun and still five handed though. This is a, this is sort of that you know nine handed five in the middle. Like you show up, it's like you want to make the top four, top three, but five you feel okay about. Depends where you started the day money really does start jumping top three going to get two hundred and eight thousand. so this is a important time look at archer jack six off exercising exercising his right you saw him limp in he started drinking this guy is awesome man look at this look at this guy look at this guy <laughs> animal what a legend what a legend look yeah. at archer yeah. Jeff, you were not kidding about this guy, man. Dangerous. dangerous you give dangerous. this guy a little bit of rope. <laughs> I, I think Ramiro's going to fight back here, though, to, to like 1.3 million. I think he is going to go ahead and put it on the line here with this exact hand. King, queen, I think this is a four-boy candidate. And you look at the guy's scary, man. I can't blame him. I, of Hell course, yeah. it, it's easy to say when you see the other guy's cards. I just think that that particular hand versus this particular player uh, is something that could do. But now look at him. He is on the loose. He is does it. Oh yeah. Runs through. He's got six million. He's got control. And Ramiro He's saying is, this is my table now. Yeah, he has officially got the the table in check, and he has got a dominating position here. Queen ten, nine ten. Neither player making a pair. Six sixty three in the middle. Expect Arthur to have a very reasonable range advantage, and going to put nine ten off in the in the bin. Not much he can do there. This guy is flowing right now. Flowing. He was down around a million chips. Yeah. That's why I still have faith in the rooster. Yeah. Ugh. Not much you can do with 4-3. <laughs> All right, we got... Uh, we got... We got ourselves a walk. That's what we got. Six point six yeah. million. The rich get richer. Six point seven million. Running a muck. My man is on fire, and this actually could get in, right? I Holds think, and, hey, and I think Art's going to call too. Arthur's going to call. Yeah, it's like six blinds, seven blinds. There's seven times. Here we go. I need to find a hold here. The roosters, the roosters in chat. Let me see you. Ace the roosters, three, the rooster gang. Ace three, king, queen, big moment. 1.9 million at risk. And we are going to see a very sweaty flop. 60%, big turn, 77%. Do you feel it? Can you dig it? Can he hold on the river? And it is a, ooh, felt like a 10 for a second. And, uh, but it, uh, the rooster's it, back. <laughs> The rooster Can't is fire it up. back. It wasn't a club turn for even more sweat. And look at this. He's got 1.9 million. Everyone He's else was back. shooting against him, but he is back. He is in the mix. And there it is. <laughs> that is, uh, is that a live shot? Is that, is that, I, might, is that I, I think that was a live rooster. I think that was it. I think he just <laughs> literally put it in, in there. And, and here we go again, man. Archer is absolutely relentless. On one right now. Well, actually shot a Ricky. <laughs> yeah. He is. He is. He is fired up, man. And he's going to get that uh, excuse again. Snap cam is on point. I love that feature. Yeah, is, that is that is that is clean. We're moving towards new new features technology within poker and seeing, you know, more more uh, in in game cool things. This rooster is on fire, man. Look at this. He's got a lot fire. of rooster love. Three minutes on that shot clock as he's got to be a little careful on his time as everyone else is <laughs> okay he's get using a lot of chess clock a lot of celebrations coming from that the content is big igor knows it in the chat what's up man good to see everyone 268 thumbs up let's see if we can break our record today you at home have that power to help us we are going to be doing a giveaway as well like i said 50 or 100 bucks could be easily 100 on who you guys have left they have arthur right am i right they got Beiruzi. they got arthur is yeah. that there too, guys? Okay. I think they so. go. Oh, sexy. You're definitely mixing in some of these garbage, garbage hands. 
in the arrange here, I think it's going to work as well. Queen do six three. I mean, this is a wow. <sighs> wow. Wow. This is so sick. Wow. So sick. Ramiro, Ramiro said, you know what? He just he just wasn't he wasn't having it. Wasn't he feeling wasn't, it. Just wasn't feeling it. Wasn't feeling that. We're just about 1.5 milli. Arder gets a walk. Five-handed here. 340 kids. Oh, here we go. The tens and the nines. Wow. 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 He is he is got himself a situation of I'm telling one. you, this could be, this could be. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything, Jeff. We're gonna see how it plays out, okay, buddy. Big moment. Superstition's I mean, real. <laughs> Bay Ruzi nines to tens, just how he dreams it up as one of the chip leaders opening fairly light. He is getting that dream scenario versus two and under. Here it goes. Snap in, and he is saying, "OMG, that is right." If you are a Rooster fan, it's time to get. Let me see you, chat. You have got a tens to nines, three point two million. In the, the dream. Middle. Feels almost too good to be true. It's 91% going to now 95.45, 4.55% river card dealer. It is an eight, and that is great if you are a Rooster fan because you have got 3.2 million and you are in business right now in second place, Mr. Party. Second hey, chat, do we, have, do we have that clip of Jeff Gross talking about the sweep? Do we have wow. that sweep clip? Wow, wow. <laughs> that, was, that was premature and an error. <laughs> But I am alive and well and ready to see a sweat because it is not over yet. 3.1 million. Beiruzi in the hizzy doing Pop real off, special chat. things. He is going exciting. People are fired up, man. There's a lot of legitimate. <laughs> What's he doing? Yeah, we're not sure. That is a live look at. There is some excitement going on. I'll tell you that. That is that is that is a nice feature, and we are seeing the rooster booster getting it rolling here. And all the other boys are watching the comeback. And now he's in second. Ramiro's had pretty active control um, and he is he's fired up man he's he's chatting I'm, I'm, he's chirping i'm telling you this uh this is a dream isn't it in this spot you got that big rail behind you every single time you're all in the chat's going berserk the roosters are popping off man it's exciting times to be a bruise you right now it is it is it is playing for a lot of money and he's got himself quite a sweat here as we are five-handed going down big big jump spout Oh, 210,000 difference between first and fifth. So a lot to play for and a lot to be excited about. This is now king nine, queen nine. Everyone's got a little something. Queen nine is not in the lead, does have a key card. The queen of diamonds has a lot of things happening, but is it enough showdown? Does he just want to show it down? I think so, right? I mean, does he think he needs to turn his hand to his bluff? If he does, what hands is he getting to fold? Is he trying to get a king to fold or a 10 to fold? uh i guess i don't i'm a little little surprised i mean king nine certainly is not folding and a bit of a interesting hand there i'm a little surprised by the bet but maybe maybe yeah, is the best hand. interesting but he's value betting against a deucer of five i guess too um but interesting when he was checked to it's a weakish hand could be good so interesting play archer with the do six suited does he want to go ahead and, and take over here? I mean, he's got 6.5. Besides, it's a little too wide. Ace three suit is going to go ahead and pop it off. Yo, Poppy Van Winkle, what's up, my guy? Good to see you out there. Oh, man. Got the legends out. Pappy in the building. Legends. What's up, Pappy? Got nines here for Sergey. Nobody else picked up much, though. Could definitely see a defend by Archer. And we do indeed. Not a bad flop for Archer, actually. Much better for Sergey, who's got the same and the lead. And made uh, same immediate. Yeah, draw. definitely the... not a great flop when we know both holdings. <laughs> for sure, for sure. But yeah, Queen Nine. Oh, turns double gutted, and a uh, a jet. Wow. So. The jack would be well, both players are double gutted, but the jack would just be the most insane card because that would, would be insane. Tournament. That would be that would be a lot. But now he's just going to town. And if you're Sergey, 
a little bit uncomfortable all of a sudden, you know, it's like, all right, well, shit, I have a overpair and a gut shot. Now I don't have an overpair and now I'm open-ended, but this is a very intense ICM spot and the king on the river. Does he just send it? <laughs> no way. Right. Does he ever just, Can't. he said he could, he could, cause he is a bad man. This is a bad man. And if he got called twice on, and I, I mean, I, I don't know, man, he, he also has Jack nine. Oh, my oh he said it. Wow. Wow. That is, this is, I mean, how can you call here? If you're Sergey, it would be such an insane call. You block the six, nine Jack nine, this player, does he do this with like seven, eight or, you know, six, four, I guess. Right. So I, I just don't know. You're just like, <laughs> you are, so this sick, is so bro. savage. This is definitely <laughs> the hand of the day. Everyone looking on with intent. And I mean, this is, I don't think he can call. I just don't I, think I, I, I don't know anymore, <laughs> Jeff. I don't, know. I don't I don't envy the spot. I mean, this is like this is the wow. Wow, wow. Whoa. So sick. So sick is right. <laughs> that is uh that is that is a look into the man and how you win 27 oh, million. God. You have a few big bluffs in you, and wow, that is a big Jeff, old a bad big old man play. is right. That is a bad, bad man. That was that was intense. That was very intense. Oh, buddy, I am going. When I sit down at my one-two table tonight, I'm going to be a gangster like that. I'm going to lose so much money tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cash games in high stake tournament ICM <laughs> final table different, but you know, I, it's it, it is fun. It is fun to watch. That was a that was a high level hand, and and he does unload the clip, and he has got a absolute hammer lock on the stacks everything kind of consolidating look at those those guys have literally the exact same stack ramiro sergey and rodrigo blinds are up 70 140 this is really moving time of the tournament and we are going to see for sure an open here at some point you can just start jamming right you can start jamming i don't know, I don't know what it. world chat is in saying that was an easy call that you guys, you guys are you guys are nuts and look at that. Get sevens to fold. Jack nine. So like I said, he's got those three stacks teed up. They Ruzi, he can also lean on. Oh, sevens. Here we go. He, he just is just, to... he foot on the neck right now. In the stranglehold. It's, um, <laughs> it is a bit of a clinical situation right now. Eight million. Everyone else around two. Everyone going to be a little bit scared. And he is... You know, Wait, is Bruzy off. streaming right now? Did Bruzy actually? Apparently, Bruzy called it on his stream. Apparently, okay. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sure if he went live or not. But this is a very. I mean, dude, look at this setup. This is those rare things, five handed, where you could literally see a full run over. Right? It's, it's, and yeah. And oh it, my <laughs> goodness! Oh my goodness! Ten bigs for Ramiro cut off. A six off would be wide. Yeah. Interesting part here is, uh, yeah, I think he just goes like 2.5 here. I don't think he's going to limp, and I don't think he's not, no need to shove. So maybe he goes like 300. Yeah, he goes real yeah, small. Yeah, good call. Just just takes it down. Makes a lot of sense. And I'll tell you what, this is a man that knows what he's doing, and he is up to 8.7 million just vacuuming the chips and like a king jack off. This is why it's so so huge because you get put in a in a shell here where yeah, you, you hate uh, it. <laughs> yeah. You also like, wow, so he's going to min raise. Okay. About I, I, I did think Arthur was just like screw it, foot on the pedal. Well, I, he would have definitely shoved if it folded to him. So Ramiro does a nice job to kind of separate himself a little bit from those bottom stacks. And same thing here, Dustin suited like it's a little to just shove, is a little, it's not a real, you know, there's not real equity yeah. with the ham. He could have done it, but he decides to take one off. And Ramiro getting a walk is going to like to see that. And uh, Arthur with 8.7 million. Hello. I mean, <gasps> Again, bro, this what's up with this ace is when nobody else has anything. Yeah, well, that's the good news for everyone here because yeah, he is he is gonna be opening quite wide, and that is uh you know that is that is good good news. In Queen here, A7. This could be a little bit cool. Oh, there you go, open jam for the queen suited. A7 here, no decision for Erica. Bruzy has used 
the most time bank here at the table as well. Was put in the blender a few times. Actually, you know what? It might not have even been put in the blender. He might have just been busy doing friggin' snap cams and, <laughs> and stuff like that. That's probably why his time bank's a little bit lower. The old loss of time bank due to content. Ooh, Shiza. Well, Bruzy's never going to get involved here with Arthur, really, just because they're both, there's so much ICM pressure here for Bruzy. Wow. But Ace Five is up. Oh, shit. He just committed right into the not now. The only, I'm so sad. It is sick, but the, 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 the part about it that is interesting is, I mean, Ace Five suited actually has pretty good equity here. And he actually, is he going to fold? No, he can't. No. Right? He put out half his no, stack. He's going, yeah. <sighs> uh, wow, you could he's argue. Ace heart shot. Wow, for five million boys and girls. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no! It was there. It was in the window, and it is so insane. The ten comes out too. The oh. ace, everything, just insane infliction of pain. And, and, and Jeff, you know. speaking of infliction of pain, Archer's not done here. Watch this steamroll. Look at look at my man's GG poker winnings. Number one for you in the super millions. Got real credibility, street cred, and a great player. Give him a fall if you haven't already. We will have him on a future show as well. GG, bro. And yeah, GG, great game, man. Really played well. Thought he uh, thought he pushed the envelope in some cool spots. Put the pressure on. Definitely was not afraid. And you know, nice score. One hundred twenty-eight thousand coming his way. Very, very. Oh very man, nice. I saw that ace in the window. I saw that ace in the window. I did too. And I was like the rooster. Yeah, that was that was a lot of emotion. So I saw some highs and lows there, but it is a it is a Arthur show right now. He has got the three guys with that stack. I mean, look at he could oh. shove literally everything, but he decides still. It's interesting to know, right? It doesn't mean you just shove everything. You let let these guys look at that. Rodrigo knows it's hard to find a spot to be first in. Yeah, he does it with six four suited, one point six million, and now Arthur with eight five off as well. All right, so he's. He's not just shoving any too. I like everyone, it. Yeah, he's he's still saying, you know what? I'm gonna play some cards. Yeah. For four handed here, everybody guaranteed 163. Our boy Bruzy out in fifth for 128 thousand Kislers. That's American money too. That goes a long way up there in the north. It goes a long way up in Canada. It's a lot of it's yeah, man. USD's uh, overtaking the euro and feel uh, this. Most, uh, USD's making moves. We got three hundred already. Thumbs up, almost. I appreciate everyone of you. Twenty four hundred watching. Please let us know where you're watching from. Jeff Gross here with my man John Party. I'm the host. We have special guests. We got one for you. This is John on the call today. Give him a follow across the socials. He also does stream as well. Beirut's in the chat. Well done, brother. Great to see you. Congrats, um, my guy. Yeah, um. Uh, great run. Yeah, he's in the chat right now. And and we'll have him on coming up. But another really nice score for him. And really excited to see how he's playing and what he's doing. And we'll see if one of these four, three remaining players besides Arthur Ooh. can go ahead. I might see blind on blind here. I, I thought he's, he was. Wow, look at him. Here we look go. The, here we go. This. I bet Sergey Jams, you think? King four suited? Uh, definitely. Nine bigs? I don't, Definitely think so. First in, so powerful, such a good hand. Don't really want to limp. Oh, he runs into aces. <laughs> right so into it. Let's see if he can get a sweat at all or anything. And that is sweaty. Potential spade turn. Nope. King four, King four. or on the river. Can't be a heart though. So pretty, pretty thin. And it is a another ace, I believe. Bam. Yeah. Trips. GG's. GG. Ramiro knocking out another player. We're down to three. Great game from Beiruzzi and his time to do the keyword so put your put keyword is gg well, with this your guy new guy yeah it has a great score for him man nice what a Heck score yeah. one hundred sixty three thousand. congrats to sergey put gg with your username afterward if you don't have gg you know pick a friend or give it to someone that you know so go ahead and do that so it will be gg followed by your username and that will be the also giveaway. i am all your friends and i'm back in canada soon okay so remember that <laughs> there you go <laughs> there you go gg with your username on gg if you don't have so gg with your username after there we go people got it appreciate you guys hit that thumbs up and 
enter in Gigi with their username and you will be entered into the giveaway. We'll stop it when we get to heads up. You guys can go ahead and type that in and then we will pick it. It'll either be 50 or a hundred dollars or it will be one of the two. Gosh, this is a massive, massive, massive chip lead here for, for Arthur. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a real, it's a real thing. And now I can lock up that dinner from Mr. Party, which feels oh, good. Oh no! But, yeah, <laughs> and officially, officially do that. We will, Done we deal. will announce, we'll announce the winner here shortly. We have got ourselves a situation with top two versus Ooh. a gut shot, and Rodrigo, the Brazilian, trying to do his Jax. best. Oh, oh and- my God! Hmm. Wow, wow, wow. He is going to get, I mean, that's it. He's getting it. it. He puts it in and it's over. (laughs) Half SPR. Ramiro gets the check back and gets the, this is a, it's going to be heads up in a second, guys. So make sure you hit that thumbs up and get your username in quick because we're going to end this giveaway very soon. And we appreciate all of you. And this is like, when he gets snapped out of his chair, he's going to, so mad, bro. What a, what a, (laughs) oh, snap. He's going to be so mad. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Four million shit pop. So sick. Now we got a two to one heads up lead here uh, for Archer. Ah, Rodrigo. Good game, my friend. Hey, Crusher as well, eh? 6.7 earnings, 1.5 on Super Millions. And now we have got ourselves a heads up match between Patron, my man Ramiro, who has won a Super Millions before. He's oh, got God. a lot of, and, and we have uh, got quite a start for him and this is my man Arthur going for his sixth super millions t- title i believe nicholas ostat the only one this one five as well and uh this is this is this potentially is not, good not good for Arthur, but great for if you're a ramiro fan because you are officially got the second nuts it's 118 to one to flop a flush he has done that and his opponent is drawing dead and he's gonna lead out interesting wow it's gets called, called. Uh, I guess just jamming SPR one. You have it, to. It, yeah, I, I think. think. I mean, maybe maybe he get heroed by. Yeah, he does go for it. Arthur can't love this, but. but I mean, he, if he folds, we're evened up here. Yeah, this is no. He would actually have the big lead, or no? There would be yeah nine to six. He would take the lead if yeah. he called instead. It is seven to nine. So Back we got ourselves it. a ball game and we are going to give you guys a few more minutes to hit the thumbs up button and type in your GG with username. We will One get second. the winner. All right. Deuce 10, seven, eight. Both have a gut shot. The six, however, that would be quite the action card. Seven eight is behind. Deuce ten is open ended with a gut shot. So let's see. Does check back and hit the ten, although didn't need it. Archer with one of the worst hands could have could take a stab here, which we would know would not work. It does stab and likely just going to get called, and we are going to be pretty even on chips, almost to the to the chip, I believe, eight point three seven four to uh, eight point three. Yeah, that is about as close as you can get it. So quick, quick, uh, quick run up from Ramil puts himself in position three sixty on the thumbs up. Appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for tuning in today. This could be over in a jiffy. If you don't blink, you won't miss it. But if you do, it could be over, John. It is. We're even a- evened up. Oh yeah, and this is uh this is Archer does like to play big pots. He does put pressure on. Is capable of bluffing. This has a recipe usually for quick, quick, quick FTS. And seven eight does not have a winning hand. Does check and does King Deuce value bet or not on the four seven five ace? So he checks back. I think he can suss out some value here. Seven to four does have the weakest possible kicker with the king. You know five six also hits a pair. Ooh, he has open and it, it does. Let's go for a little bit of a bet and Ramiro. For that size, heads up, making a pair, mid pair on the flop. I think you might find a call here. Definitely could. Does Especially with the heart is missing and whatnot. Yep. Yeah, he didn't have a heart. And he does go ahead and pay that off. 
We're still pretty even here. Uh, King King High Boy here would be a little bit interesting. We do see a queen high board. It does spike the seven. Right. King three, king seven. Yeah, nice advantage for. Yeah, this is this is this is anyone's game. And this is wide Anyways. wide open. So Ramiro been around for a while as well. Uh, this is. Let's see. Ramiro has been around for a while, but he's really started to play the higher stakes lately. Love it. What an awesome score. 266 locked. Playing for an extra 80K. 70K. Yeah, big difference. I mean, no deals. That is another thing that is cool about the Super Millions. There's no deal it's at the... Okay. At the what up, pretty good to see you, brother, in the chat. Uh, this is there's no deals, man. This is it. Play, play Love for it. the cheese. Um, yeah, we got four six suited, we got king 10, we got a bet king 10. Definitely going to call. I think the one could have the best hand, of course, drawing to the nuts for the jack and has got himself could, could do a wide variety of things. We do see both players now. With a gut shot, interesting card. Six high is the, the basically worst hand you could have here, right? It is the yeah. nut low, six three, six four. So does he shoot another another shot? Maybe try to get a five to fold. Uh, he does, he and does king indeed. ten, king ten does does have the king of hearts. Does it think could have the best hand? Does call and look at that Ooh. man, my man just spuns off the runner, runner, absolute nuts. But this is uh this is. This is nice if you're Ramiro, but it's hard for your opponent. Yeah, really, yeah, does not yeah. have a hand to call. He goes for the 640 bet and decides that that's enough. But Ramiro here taking over the uh, the heads up lead, not by very much. Effectively, kind of even. Holy! A a seven three five very nice flop for three five offs got the straight flush draw and middle pair picks it up and we are literally tied. I mean eight point three eight point one. <laughs> it is. Uh, it did look like Arthur was going to run away with it, but yeah, that was the first hand, wasn't it? They kind of even though was it the first hand heads up or well, the first few for sure. Yeah, really, really uh, nice, nicely done by Ramiro to get the get that turn bet in. Got some value, then went for the juggler, didn't get it. Here we go. Queen 10 off has again, could have the best hand drawn to the nuts with the king. Gets a spade. Uh, five seven. Five seven is gonna decide if they want to keep two barrel or not. Ace Jack six, three spades. Doesn't go for it. Five seven. Not the best hand. Neither player have a pair here. Queen 10 off. And you know, sometimes you are able to win this. This is one of those rules. You have like literally you're not gonna win with seven high though, most of the time. So nope. I think Arthur might put in a little bit of, there you go. Yeah. Nice play. Well done. Shows delayed C-bet. Always tossing back some blinds. All right, we're still even here. 8 million to 8.3. Very, very tight. Got the raise with the 8.5 off. Queen 9 going to. Paul, 8-5, jumps in the lead, has position, 4-5 jack, two spades, queen nine, kind of wraps, has some has some decent turns, has a key spade. Does he want to peel one here? He is behind. Ramiro is going to go for the check raise. Yeah, when I said wraps around that jack, definitely going to get for some folds. Does get called. Doesn't pick up an equity turn, really, that is of interest, I guess, other than, you know, Maybe he could have some diamonds in his hand that he that he would check raise with the back doors or something else with it. So potentially could tell. Wow, goes oh, for the big. Oh, sick man! I love it. Because heads up is a whole different beast as well. It is. It's hard to know who's got more experience or not, or who has more tricks. But I can tell you, both these guys have won Super Millions titles. They know how to do it. They know how to play, and they're capable and willing. And we are seeing some fast pace action here. Fast pace. I say you're gonna see a three bet here from Ramiro. Yeah, this will be upstairs, 1.4, 1.3. You would think, but then they keep you guessing. 
keeps it in. And this is a high risk, more high risk play, but you do get when you hit, you can really hit a big pot. So interesting. Not much here for uh, for Arthur. Um, I'm assuming we're going to see a shutdown. Yep, does shut does down. Ramiro give him a little bit of rope. Yeah, maybe a small bet, but I don't know. At the same time, could go bigger. Maybe your opponent has a king and pays you off. Could go half yeah. pot. Go big. big goes full right, pot. Jeff, good call. Wow, big pot, big hand, and my man Ramiro has the chip lead. He is now about a yeah. You know, he's he's got two one and a half to one. We this is this is this is the match. Oh, we gotta do the giveaway winner. We gotta do the giveaway winner before it's over. Let's see. We appreciate everyone. 384 thumbs up. Let's get that to over 400. We'll hit the we'll announce it. Okay, that's enough on the usernames, and we will draw. Good luck, everybody. Uh, all right. Ace. So we got a six here for Romero. Beautiful flop. Heller. Great flop here. For a mirror. Open ace ended. six open ended with the ace jack eight. He's got some overs, and Miro does go ahead and lead out. I mean, the, the gut shot and two overs definitely keep Arthur interested. Maybe even yeah. somehow, you know, does he ever raise here and then fall through on the river with with some cards? I mean, I, I I don't I don't see him folding. I don't see him folding. He doesn't. And now he has got the queen on the river. Neither player with the pair ace high is the best hand. Let's see what Ramiro's plan of attack is here. Those block the nuts as well. So let's see if Interesting he, wants to, spot. he wants to block the bet, bet. Does he go for a check call? He does have a six is the thing that misses. He also realized he loses to like fours, fives, deuces. So uh, he could put some pressure on those hands. This is an interesting, interesting one. If he does bet, I would think it would be on the bigger side. Oh. oh. Well, that's big. That is big. That is... Jeez, man. He said, I'm done. I'm over it. So let's end this right here. We have a two to one chip lead now for Ramiro. Oh, this could, I don't, is Ramiro folding a suited king here? Yes, he is. Obviously, right? <laughs> Duh. Yeah. He gives, <laughs> he gives it up. Three, six, deuce here. Nine, seven, four, flop, two tone, two spades, heart. So I decided if if I said this earlier, if Arthur won, it was a hundred dollars. If what well, because he was one of the four, I think we gave, right? If Ramiro was not one of those players, Ramiro now has the chip lead. But if we get to 500 thumbs up, we're at 400 and John Party brings the heat, guys. I'm feeling 500 thumbs up. If we get to 500, I'm giving a hundred dollar ticket regardless who wins. But Check as of right now, dear. Yeah, because Ramiro's got the got him on the ropes, you know. Here we and go, this, baby. This, this actually might just get sandwiched in on him, and this could be a literally oh, just call. Oh, oh it's a king high fly. Wow. Good better night. Hit those, better hit those thumbs up. Hurry, check. Jet. <laughs> we do have I do have the username picked out here who won. So if we get to 500, it's gonna be hundred, and it could definitely be all over right here. It could be all over right here. What up, Pre? Good to see you. Stop oh, this. goodbye. Pre this is this is get this oh wow you guys hit you guys just like wildfire it's Wait, shut up. hundred dollars i swear look at that they just like hit holy shit you guys wow really you guys I mean, what's you, you guys, guys are the been, sickest you are sick you guys have been slacking on me but i might man, <laughs> man. but i love it you guys the best chat in the world in the entire world of all time right here we're watching right now appreciate those thumbs up and we goodbye might, this could be it john we might you might be able to make your dinner res you might be able to make a, your, your workout. <laughs> it's it could be over in this moment, and you guys are absolute legends. Thank you guys so much for hitting that thumbs up. And there's still it could there still could be a river card too. Is it as Arthur? Does he That's ever? True. It's not. Does it's he, not over. Does he? He just called. Now oh, it's over. No, it's not. Oh, is it? It's not. Is it? It's yeah, not. And it's over. It's Why? over. Why? Jack plays right. Kings and deuces no. with the queen. Oh, the queen. <laughs> No so way. sick. No way. So no sick. Way. You are sick. Come on, man. That was crazy. Chat. You guys are wild. We are you up guys to are 600 wild. likes. You guys are absolutely wild. <laughs> I thought it was still over. I thought Jack was playing. That's wow. 7 6 Wow. Wow. Wow.
It's not wow. going to get much more at risk than that heads up. <laughs> oh, baby. I don't think Ramiro blasts here. I think he folds to Archer's uh, bet if he decides he wants to, which I assume he will. Hardy, stop smoking. <laughs> what's my what's my buddy Jim doing in there? <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Well, all right. I am gonna I am announcing I am gonna be announcing the winner. We do have the winner winner locked in here, and it's gonna be it's a hundred dollars. That's what you guys you guys just just blew it out. I said what I say five hundred. You're at six hundred without me even having to do it. All the other the other seventeen hundred who haven't hit the thumbs up. I hope you're just maybe lounge back. Maybe you're, yeah. maybe you're far away from your computer you're too chill. or your device. You might be you might be too chill, but for the 600 of you that hit the thumbs up, I appreciate you. I know John does too, and this has been Much quite love. a show. Quite a show today. Um, and we have a battle heads up right now. What an ending. What an ending to the final table. Old Kings and 5-3 suit. A 5-3 suit is sexy. You know what's sexier though? Kings. Yeah. Uh, there's five threes. Oh, five three folds just heads up. Interesting. I don't know if I don't. I, I obviously need a lot of work on my heads up game. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, I think I think we all do. I think we all do. It's it's not something that we, uh, it's not something that we we get to do a lot. But you know, the better the better these, you are, the these, more these high rollers are a little smaller field, so it happens more often. But yeah, they um, got to study because there's so there's so much differential between first and second, especially in those small fields. Yeah. Yes. Exactly right. So we are, we are, we are, we are still in it. That was a silly, silly run out, man. Silly uh, run out. Silly, silly run out. Ace three, two six. Ace three suited. Bets here, and he is gonna silly run out for it. everyone except Arthur. <laughs> Jack four, nine three, nine three open. Let's put in the the, the gapper. These the guys level it, man. The gapper putting it on, put it on, put it on. We are we are uh we are literally here looking for another champion to crown. Both players have won. Archer has won a lot of times. He has literally oh won. Oh my this. god. This is like uh all right. I'm gonna first of all I'm gonna announce the um I'm gonna announce the winner. Because we got it. I got it right here. The hell. It's interesting to see how this is going to play out. Holy Toledo. Bam. This is what do you, I mean, it's going to play out that. It could be a chop or it could a be over Archer again. It, it is a uh, well, wow. goodbye. Here we go. Let's see. He just flats, right? We're going to have a winner. This is like a six bet. <laughs> yeah, this is this. Is, <laughs> does he ever just click back or is it just always the call? Let's see. Here. I don't know. This is uh, these are Whatever this is the it is, just this call. Yeah. And, and here we go again. Is it a is, Could it be another chop hot? There are a fair amount of cards that it could, it could happen. This is definitely a definitely an opportunity for a chop, but four point six point six point four. Well. Kevin Martin in the building, boys and What's girls. Up, Kim, the, uh, another big brother winner, another GG man, another crusher. Hope Korea was fun, brother. I got to hear about that. We got to catch up, and I know Look you at are. This bet. <laughs> wow, seven hundred k. Look I at mean, this bet. The river card is going to be an important one here in this match. Both players flop trips. Eight 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 three turn king of spade. He has the spade as well, John. This is Don't crazy. Now, this river this is going to be crazy. This is a this is the big moment here. It's min click. There's a lot of clicking going on. There's a lot of this different is crazy. rivers that could happen here. And Archer looking for his sixth title. Oh, it's over! Wow, it's wow, over! Wow, wow, that is going to be a that is not going to be Archer's sixth title, it looks like. That is going to be Vegas and the Mirage for my man. Um, and this is going to get called. I mean, is there, there's just not a world. That's no, it. No That's world. it. No world. Ramiro, Ramiro Patron. GGs. 
plays it and gets it done. And that is a 339,000 USD. So to the man and arts are going to have to settle for 266. They said he was in for seven bullets. That man can get it done. He plays a great brand. And John, Tell me some takeaways. How are you feeling today? Were you excited to be here? Did you like the action? Are My you okay man, with the Super Millions? What do we got? It's, I'm, exci I'm excited for poker. I'm fired up right now. These were some of the best players in the world playing at the highest level um, that you can possibly see on your screen. So uh, I'm excited. Made me realize I have a lot of work to do, Jeff. <laughs> I'm, I'm right there with you every week. I'm always excited to be here. I always take it in. Thank you so much to everyone that hit the thumbs up, that joined us, that spent your time with us. Love seeing you guys. We will have another big guest. Beiruzzi is coming on very soon. I also got Espen, who will win the World Series WSOP main event champion. Took home a cool 10 million coming on soon. And Kevin Martin, thank you for stopping by. Beiruzzi, great showing. Great to see you guys. And make sure to give John a follow, John Party on Twitch. Uh, where, where can they watch you? Party time streams? Where, what's your what's your username? Yeah, John, John Party on Twitch. Uh, John Party vlogs on YouTube. And uh, J-O-N underscore Party, P-A-R-D-Y on Twitter and Instagram. All right. Well, congrats to the winner. Congrats to everyone. And thank you so much for being here. We'll see you guys next Tuesday, 245 Eastern.